Gary YouTube from Coldaholic joined by yet another Gary YouTube from Coldaholic as we are going to do some Gary YouTubing in the form of a basic bitch tiered list. Gary, how are you doing? I'm not bad. I've been looking forward to doing this one. I know we were so supposed to do it for Christmas. Yeah, we right? were going to do it at Christmas, but you know, it's a, it's a big undertaking. This one, we need yeah. some time. So yeah. some time we have today. Hit the bloody intro. You know how it works by now, we've got the tears, the best, lovely, 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 middle of the road, all right, just about bearable, and get in the bin, which is ironic because of titles and Medusa and all that. Yes, there's, ah, there's ah, also, ah. this, this episode is probably going to look a little bit different to the other ones, just because we're going to be doing like, I think there's so many titles, I'm probably going to have to make like a fake league table, so it doesn't look like the normal one, uh, and we need a space to show you the belts that we're talking about, because obviously this is a very visual experience unless of course you're listening yeah. to us in which case just paint, paint a mental picture in your yes. mind or have a google because I think we're going to try and read out the name or at least a description of the title right then Sam let's kick things off shall we with the original hardcore championship handed to Mick Foley or Mankind oh. whoever you want to say way back in the day allegedly made from the belt Mr. Perfect smashed up whatever that, uh, that old story is is that the old story? I, I think always so. forget. I think it got disproven anyway yeah I think it's a toy I think yeah. it's one of the plastic toys smashed up but and for what it was and the time it came about height of the attitude era I absolutely love it Michael it's it's a timeless belt like yeah. it's it's just so perfect for the era. Like everything about it is just class. It's amazing. I want that more than I want a 24 7 belt. <laughs> yeah. I want that back. The 24 7 belts, and we're going to get onto that in a bit, but I, I, I don't really rate the 24 7 title. I rate that. My only criticism for that one is it how flimsy it was. Do you remember how flimsy it used to be when you yeah. used to wave it about? Yeah. I was like, this is it, I this think, is it. I think that proved that it was probably made out of one of the, the high-end plastic. They do that, like, pro-plastic model, don't yeah. they? So they're probably made out of one of those. But... but just because this is the first one we're doing, and I don't know what gauge, how to gauge things just yet, I'm going to say lovely, lovely, lovely. Although it could easily be up one more by the end of the video. I think for now, it goes in lovely, lovely, lovely. I just, just think it's it just in terms of what it yeah it just encapsulates hardcore, doesn't yeah. it? Whoa, hardcore. I'm going to quickly double check that we're recording here. Just to, yep, yes we yeah, are. We Thank are, God. Are, right, okay. Right just panicked. So next up, <laughs> we're moving on to the original NXT Women's Championship. There, held by Sasha Banks in her arms, which are stretched right in front of her. Beep. She's driving a car. Yeah, she's driving a car. Um. So. I, I'm not a fan of this one, well, first of all, because it's silver. And I never, ever think yeah. a championship title should be silver because silver is second, second best. Place. Yeah. yeah. And second of all, it's tiny. Yeah, it's tiny, but like there's a there's a long history of like smaller women's belts, which we're going to see as we go on. But the thing that I think I don't like about it, it's got that weird like modernish design. It was around the same time as like the the Divas title. It's got a very similar sort of. It evokes a very similar like yeah it's reaction, got doesn't it? The glitz and glam. It's of the very like the Divas era. It's like a fifty year old man's image of what a woman likes out of a championship <laughs> belt. It's like a group of fifty year old men sat around and went. Diamonds, hey, hey. bit of pink, silver. Ladies love silver. They love a vajazzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, there's nothing really nice about it. I'm not a big fan. I much prefer the newer one. Like, oh, I much absolutely. prefer the yeah. newer one. But this one, yeah, I was... No, I just, I never really rated it. I can tell you one thing that's going to happen for sure in this video. The Divas title, when we get yes. to it, will be going in the bin. So I don't think that one Are is Are you sure quite... about that, Ross? Oh, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, that butterfly I'm needs pretty to die. sure you said it went in the best. That butterfly should have died before it was even born. It should have, yeah. But I think that is a step above the, Div uh, the Divas Championship. Yeah, it, it's by no way the worst belt, because no. there are some terrible belts. So I'm going to go just about bearable. It's, it's I striking think, out to me. I think just about bearable as well. So. Plus the lineage of that thing. Oh, yeah, it's a who's hefty, who. Hefty, hefty lineage. So next up, we have Shayna two-time with the current... <laughs> Best. Best? Yes. There's one thing, Sam. What? When you put the men's and the women's side by side, the men's are the gold, and I'm saying it again, silver is second place to me. The semantics of that thing is keeping it out of the best tier. Well, the, is the men's not got the silver X as well? No, it's a golden X. Is it? Aye. I always, see, I always thought they were the exact same design pretty I'm much. I'm pretty sure. We'll get to it when we yeah. get to it, but I'm pretty sure it's a golden X. 
Well, for that, let's just put it in lovely, lovely, lovely. I think, it's, yeah. I think it's a lovely design. It's a, oh, it's a very nice design. Especially in this era. It's no, a, it's, it's they're, not... they're a bit weird, though, because they, they, all of them look... Well, the, the men's and women's, I can't remember the other one. Uh, like, the North American doesn't, but I can't remember the tag belts. But they all look a bit like manhole covers. Yeah. <laughs> They've got that, like, checkerboard and the screws in the corners. Oh, no, I think it's rustic and punk rock. It's, oh, it's cool. It's really cool. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's... I can't believe it's silver. I just always thought it was... Oh, no, it's silver. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that's the only thing. I th the size is a lot better, I know, for, for, I guess for women, because they are, by and large, smaller. You need a bit of a smaller right. thing, so it doesn't look a bit too yeah. silly. But I, I think it's, it, it hits all the marks. I love the little press studs down the, uh, down the, the, the corners, the angles There's of the thing. just a lot of attention to detail yeah. that's gone into it, which is more than can be said for... A certain butterfly belt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of attention in that, just the wrong kind. Yes. But I, moving on, we get to the original NXT Men's Tag Team Championships, which I think they look like they come from a local indie, which doesn't have too I much money. I never rated these belts. I think they're ugly. I like that they were mirror images. Yeah. I like that, that when you held them side by side, they were coloured in the opposite way. But... I was not a fan of the original NXT titles. It's just how I was flat not a fan of these. It's just how flat. There's no. As we talk, I speak about attention to detail. There's none here. Do you They're remember the original? Into... Do you remember the original five star wrestling championship? Yes, I do. That that's yeah. what it reminds me of. It's like it's it's been painted on and it's been engraved, but it's not really been plate on plate on plate. It doesn't seem like a decadent title. It just seems like they went men's, women's, uh, yeah. and banged a guy sixty quid. Like to sort them out. Originally, this is the well. My original thought was bin. <clears throat> I just don't like them at all. <laughs> I just think that WWE. Can we be... can we set out some li like some rules here? So we're we're disregarding lineage. This is simply how the belts look. That's what we go off, isn't it? Right. Okay. That's what wrestling fans go off. From well, in that title. case, then get in the bin. Yeah, get in the yeah, bin. Yeah, get in the bin. I just the, WWE should be pumping out better titles than that. That just looks like a local indie to me. No yeah, offense it... to local indies, but WWE, a billion dollar corporation. I guess though, at the time, NXT was wasn't really set to be you know they didn't I don't think they realized how much of a behemoth it was going to become um, maybe there was always a plan to change the belts down the road but yeah yeah they just look a bit knackered so next up my god it's Barney the dinosaur the original <laughs> well the original new cruiserweight title yes. I brrr, I do not like the purple and silver look I I've said since day one and I'm happy it's finally sorted on black with gold it's a lot better, but on black in general, it's just better. At least we've got that. So, yeah, the the original purple, it, it just did my head in the whole Cruiserweight thing anyway, because it was like, do the Cruiserweight Classic, and everybody was like, yes, Cruiserweights are coming back. And then they went, yeah, we're going to bring Cruiserweights back. They're going to be on WWE TV again. And we're like, yeah. And then they're going to have their own show, and they're only going to wrestle each other, and they're not going to have any impact on anything else outside of the little sphere they exist in. The only time they will is when they're getting jobbed and fed out to people like Braun Strowman. And what's better, Sam? We're yeah. going to give none of them a character. There's a yeah. reason to get invested. You see Luke Harper doing a tope con hello. Through, <laughs> sorry, whatever. Tope suit of suicide, died for the ropes. Yeah. You can watch a smaller man do the same thing and it'd be less impressive. Yeah, it's they, they really dropped the ball, I think, with the cruiserweights. They should have just been implemented like they were back in the day. Yeah. I want to see people like Kalisto going up against Big Show. Mm. I want to see giant mismatches. Well, he beat Braun Strowman, didn't he, in a dumpster yeah. match? <laughs> but it, it's, it's yeah, and like how everything had to be purple when they'd wrap the ropes. Do you remember yeah. that? They'd come up with the bloody cling film. Yeah. And, oh... The, but everything, it was so targeted at kids. You just look at it, it's just a big toy. They're superheroes. Yeah, <laughs> but it's... it's oh. But the main thing about this championship that got to me, when people used to hold it up like Kalisto is there, yeah. the middle portion of the strap doesn't appear to be metal. Uh, sorry, leather in my... in my. It, it, it looks, looks like plastic. plastic yeah. I don't know if it is leather. It looks like it's some sort of like weird pleathery material. It just doesn't but look But again... Right. Yeah, it doesn't look right, but maybe it, it just has to be that way to get that level of detail. Mm. But, yeah, the thing I hate the most about all these belts now, though, is that they've got all the little buttons and rivets. Well, they're all bloody Velcro, aren't they? Look oh, at that. I don't look mind at that. that. I just think that's practical. No, I think that's bollocks. I used to put on those WCW, <laughs> WCPW championships. You can never get the press those done properly. They were right fanny on. Yeah, but that just comes with time. Just uh, comes with time. I like the Velcro, though. It's more practical. But yeah, that's, but yeah. It, it just nothing screams cool. Like coming down to the ring, and then <sighs> yeah, but it's cool, isn't it? You just do one motion, <laughs> it's yeah. Up there. But it's I don't know. It's like it's like having having like Velcro shoes when nah. 
<laughs> but the Cruiserweight title, uh, I think, it, to be confirmed, but I think just about bearable for now. The see, bottom... I was going to say, all right, but... I think that's the, when it's on black. I think it's all right. I think on black it's nice. Yeah. I just think on, on purple and silver it just doesn't work. I'm sorry, two oh five live. I'm oh, going to do you like bad. this, but yeah, I think it goes about there. I do yeah. think one improvement they did make though in this era was making the little line above the W, uh, but sorry, below the WWE logo, orange. It used to be all one yeah. color, but it made it pop yeah. a bit more. But that's the the, the, the silver line on this. Hate belt. this belt. So, I don't know how I feel about it. So this me. is the original for anybody listening. The original NXT. Championship, NXT Men's Championship. Um, yeah, it's just a big X. I hated this belt. <laughs> and the thing is, people give me crap for it all the time. They're like, oh, it's an amazing belt, it's an amazing belt. It's like, I think Pachiti loves this belt as well. It's like, I just never... No. It just, it doesn't, doesn't look like a wrestling belt. It doesn't feel like... And I guess that might have been the point, because it was something entirely new, but it's just... Even as I'm nah. sat here now... Over two years, I think, since it's been killed off, mm -hmm. I still can't make my mind up. I like the girth of the leather strap. Yeah. I like the Prestas that go all the way along. I, I like... hate the big X. <sighs> yeah, because that was never the NXT logo, was it, that looked like that? I, it... Yeah. I don't know how to feel. I'm, I'm, I'm edging towards all right. That's where I'm edging. <sighs> because I don't know what to say about it. I get what you're saying about the NXT logo in the middle there, because the, it was never like that, like the actual thing company is, on logo. On some people it? it looked cool. Like Joe, it looked cool. Neville, it looked cool. Some people, I, I don't know. Owen sort of. Uh, you see, what, by the time Owens came about, it was just the, that was that was it. That was just you know, it was like like an old bit of furniture. Yeah, it was part of the furniture in NXT. It's like they came up with it, going, "This is an amazing concept for a belt," and it is. But after you've seen it, it's sort of like, hey, okay. I've yeah. got a thing for big belts, and that was a big belt, and that's I enjoy like, the big belt. Yeah, it's like the same with me. Like, I like big guitars. Like, I like like having bigger things. Mm. So, like, a bigger belt's cool, but... I, mm, Shall I we go know. all right and then... Let's go all right and maybe, maybe have a review in a bit. By the way, the Cultaholic Heavyweight Championship, which is proudly displayed right there, is, uh, it's, it's, it's above the best tier. Oh yeah, it's not it's, even. It's, it's not even in the tier. It's thing. not even a question. Yeah, I know. Right then, so next up we have the current NXT Tag Team Championships. Beautiful. A massive improvement on the old ones. Just the attention to detail massive of improvement every... on the old champs as well. Yeah, well, yeah. well, that goes well saying because Kyle O'Reilly, <laughs> Kyle O'Reilly is the best. Um, everything about this, every every aspect of a championship belt when you compare the old and the new is far superior here. And I, for me, well, I do. I want it. No. It's the silver again. That's the only issue for me. I don't so much mind silver on tag because there's there's the thing is with these belts as well is there is gold and silver here. So there's gold, silver, and black, which mm. sort of fits in with the the colours of the brand. But I I don't so much mind it when there's so much going on. Like it just looks there like you've got like a, maybe a square and the NXT itself silver, but everything else is gold. Plus, they're just so well designed. Yeah. They're just beautiful. They are belts. beautiful, aren't they? It's like one of the rare times I would like, if somebody, if there was like a, a belt going, I'm not the type of person that would have one like on display. But if there was one of those just like kicking about, I'd be like, I'll put that on the shelf. <laughs> just, you know, I'd, I'd put it in my Kallax. <laughs> be, where do you stand on that wrestling fans who take belts to, the, to shows and just I, walk around with them? Okay, that, it's, sort of, it's, it's the only place on earth you can really do it. Like, I don't it, get it, me. The whole thing with like WrestleMania is you see people walking everywhere. I mean, you get accepted for it because you can't do it in everyday life. You can't ah. just go like to the pub with it. But like, <laughs> imagine if you did. You can't go take it on a walk. Like, <laughs> so like, I get that people want to be passionate. And they want to be there with their titles. But for me, I I don't know. Like, I one I'd worry because like I spent all this money on something. That, yeah, what if exactly. I forget it? What if I go for like a piss? Someone and leaves it on the beer side. Over it. Yeah, what happens if beer gets in behind the plate and the leather? How am I going to clean it? Like, I I just get really worried. If I was paying, I think the three hundred. They're about 360 quid. If yeah, I was to buy one, buy I would just sale. put it on a shelf somewhere proud in my house. Yeah. I'd, I'd, exactly I'd, I'd get like a little, like what they've got, like the little, not like the, the cushion that goes on the plinth. Yeah. And just like that. Perspex box. Maybe like a top down light to give it some glimmers. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, right, just because of an entry we're going to come up with later, yes. which is also a tag team championship design, I think this is top of lovely, lovely, lovely and not in the best. Because it's okay. In comparison to something we're going to talk about later, it's just not as good. Right. Well, I'm going but to we take could, your word we could, for this. We could change that later. You're going to be shocked no. when I say it because oh, I think go. it's obviously because of the, the belt it is or the belts they are. Yeah. People sleep on them. 
but we'll get on to them later. Ooh. Next up, we have the Ultimate Warrior with a white-strapped <clears throat> Oldie Times WWE Championship. So, the oldie times, uh, you by the oldie times, you mean the winged eagle. The winged so eagle. The original I always get that eagle. mixed up because Aust the Attitude Era had their own so winged eagle. So, that either gets referred to as the Attitude Eagle or the, the Big Eagle. The Big um, Eagle, that's what I've heard. So, but this is the winged yeah. eagle, but with a white strap. And yeah. anything with a white strap is in the best. It, <laughs> see, I don't like... I like it, but I much prefer the one they never used for him, which was the yellow strap... World Championship because he had the yellow strapped IC belt. Yeah. They did, I think there was like a turquoise one. Or the like turquoise a one's one. coming up the soon. The turquoise yeah. one I loved. Yeah. The white one is cool, but I just don't think it works for Warrior. Like, is this his own custom title or were they just Imagine trying, that it... on Sean. Oh, whoa. Yeah. With those white tights. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. He's just a sexy boy. Yeah. With a sexy belt. But like Warrior, it makes sense. I think the, the other colors are amazing. So I. <laughs> was this his custom belt? It probably was because they, they, with him being a colourful character, the idea was they were going to try some different coloured belts, and I guess that would have been, you know, fun for marketing, like sell twenty of the same toy in five different colours. Um, but like, I think yeah, it's in the best. Maybe just, uh, just if you take you're just what, a sucker for a white belt. If you, if you take Warrior out of it and just look at yeah. the, the belt for the belt, that is true. Oh. That is what we're doing. So if you take oh. Warrior out, I think it's it's delightful, me. It is beautiful. Oh, actually. it's lovely. Like. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, you yeah, got to put it in the best. You got to put it in the best. Right. So next up, we have the original winged eagle, black strap. Um, did he take that to war with him, did he? he no. <laughs> he claimed but the original. <laughs> sorry, just to take away from the the gravity of this situation here, the original winged eagle on black leather. It's just because. Oh, can we go just with looks on this? Because just the, just because of what it is, I'm I'm just I, it's the best in it. It is. It's it's by far, for my money, it's got to be top three all time titles. Like it's just certainly look at top it. five. Like, but it, it's just the. It's the, certainly top ten. It, but like, there's like the 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 bars. I mean, we're, literally, we've just looked at the same one, but on white. But just the way it's built, everything about it, that sort of weird Art Deco look to yeah. it. The wings spreading out it's over the It's just a shield. classy affair, isn't it? Yeah, I would walk. I don't down even. The street you don't even I'm... mind that it's all chipped to hell. It's all like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you preferring white strap or black strap? Black strap, I think. Because oh, yeah. I think for me, it, it's more like I can see it on more people with the black strap, but the white strap is beautiful. I just want to see it on Sean, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, yeah, the black, it's just, it's just classic, isn't it? It's yeah, timeless, it's, it's timeless. timeless. Get it in the best tier. It almost needs to be like a tier above the best, Ooh. but like it's, it's there. So next up, we have the current NXT Championship. It is gold. Big gold X. It is gold. That was the only thing, which is the semantics of me. I can't believe that Shayna's doesn't have a gold X. Yeah. Or like his has a gold X and not a silver one. You'd think they'd be the same, wouldn't if, you? If I look at, when you look at that now, it's sort of like, it seems a bit odd because the rest of them have so much silver running through the design, but that's just gold. That is gold, yeah. It's like, you'd think they'd put a silver X on it, but no, it's, it's cool. It's a beautiful belt. Yeah. But I think, it, I think it's bottom of the best here. Yeah, I, don't, because the, I think it's, it's unfair to say it's lovely, lovely, lovely. It could not go in any other tier, because look at it. But I, I wouldn't say it's an all-time, but I definitely it might say get there, it's, it might get there. But I'd definitely say for now, it's at least in that... It's in with a shout. As I say, it's just my brain and sports, silver is second place. So that's why Shane yeah. is, is not in the best, but this one has to be in the best for me. Yeah, I think you, I agree. Let's put it in the back of the best. Get in. Right then. Controversial one number one, I reckon. I like this. I like it as well. Yeah, I, I, everybody was like, oh, he didn't make a custom belt. He did eventually get his custom belt, but then you all complained about that as well. But then <laughs> uh, it, like it was more the whole thing of like, oh, well, they've just turned it blue. Oh, it's ridiculous. They, they, they moved the show to SmackDown. We're well, going to have a bright red belt. Of course, they're going to make it blue. That's probably always what was going to happen eventually when it jumped between shows. It just, you know, flagship show for Fox, blue. Blue. It looks yeah. so much better on blue than it did on red. It does absolutely. So much better. I think it's bottom of lovely, lovely, lovely. I think it's top of lovely, lovely, lovely. Do you? I think that's a bit too far, Sam. I think you're being too... You're getting too carried away here looking at this blue strap. <laughs> Calm down, Sam. But then again, I'm not a big fan of the current... I think it's it's possibly the best out of these this style of belt. I was going to say... Because this, I'm this not a big fan of the, the logo. Being the I same. understand why they do it, but I'm not a fan of it. This is the thing. 
this judgment of it being bottom of lovely, lovely, lovely might have to be changed to all right because this is us basing our opinions on the standards of today, which yeah, are wrong. which is wrong. Yeah, yeah, we need to just look at this and isolate it, which is like, if you look at it, look at the detail you had on something like the Winged Eagle. It's not as good, is it? And no, what you've got is good. You've, you've got, got, got the jazzling again. Yeah, well, you've, you've, you've got a logo on Cubic Zirconium. Yeah. You've got Cubic Zirconium, massive logo, no eagle, no nothing. All right. Bit of side plates that they sell for about 180 quid each. All right. I think it was an all right. Sorry, just talked myself out of that one there. But I think it's the right call. WWE, yeah. make them different, for God's sake. Yeah. So next up, we have a championship that had a brief stay in WWE back in the Invasion era, brought over from WCW, and that is the United States Championship, Sam. And I've got one question at this time. Right. Who better than Canyon? Nobody. Nobody, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was this whole thing, wasn't it? <laughs> but to me, looking at this United States Championship... It brings back the feels. It does bring back the feels. Yeah. WCW, Will Wired, etc. Goldberg winning that thing. Oh, Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> that is my kind of speed. But the title itself is bland. It's from that special time where nobody really cared about how the titles looked. <laughs> It was just a big gold thing that you came out carrying, and that meant something back then. I appreciate its size. Yeah, it's a good size for a it's second for a secondary though. title, but and it is for, bland. For a belt as that piss. was probably made by Jamar or one of the other like premier belt makers like Milliken. Like I don't know if either one of those had a hand in this. I know they did some stuff with WCW, I think, but like it's pretty. Uh, yeah, it's got an eagle on it. It's got a little Copy flag. Cats. The copycat as well. It looks like <laughs> it looks like the belt he's wearing underneath. Yeah, it's the tag. Well, sort of like the tag Similar, team title. Yeah. But I just think just because it's so bland, I'm edging towards oh, all right. I was going to... Or is it just about bearable? I think top are just about bearable. I think, yeah, top are just about bearable yeah. is fine by me. I just think it could, it could be so much more. But then, do some people might like understated stuff. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Because there's going, well, thing... there's going to be a contentious one maybe that comes up soon. I, I guarantee you we'll agree on it because you know what we're like. But <laughs> there's one that people might be like, eh. But, you know, understated often means it can be better. What What is where sat here as members of the United Kingdom. Yes. What is one thing that America is not? Understated. Understated, or... and that one is, so it doesn't fit. Next up, we have <laughs> the original first ever, I think, when records began. Maybe, who knows? It's the oldest one on the Hall of so WWE it, it's, Champions. It's not the oldest, oldest. So the very, very first one, but the very first one wasn't technically a world title. So the very first title was, you, you've probably seen it before in galleries. It's like a, a map of the con continental yeah. United States, like an outline in bronze with like all of these gems in it. Uh, and it, I think he used to say United States champion. Uh, and then they put a little plate over it that said worlds. And Brown that was when strap. they first broke off. Yeah. Brown strap, yeah. So they first broke off then. And then after a while, uh, when they recognized Buddy Rogers as their champion and broke away from the NWA, they had this made. That is the man Ric Flair stole everything from. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's hard Without to judge a this. Of a doubt. It's hard to judge this one. <laughs> it's hard to judge this one because it, it is a different time. And little belts were the thing, but weren't for they? the time as well. When you consider the, like, this was probably the biggest, most decadent, or at least one of the bigger and more decadent belts out there, without it being too sort of OTT. Um, there's a lot of belts from around this time are quite small and are very much like a just a thick normal belt with no big front plate. Um, they, they went straight off the bat, basically mm -hmm. WWE with it and. You know, timeless design, but... It's, it's a shame we can't look at a, a better detailed yeah, picture. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot floating around. But there's one thing that's it's jumping out to me straight <laughs> away, and I don't know if it's because I watch too many uh, modern-day laptop reviews on YouTube, Right. and that's the bezel. The bezel around the main plate is way too thick. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a MacBook Pro. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. a MacBook it's, Air. It's from comfortably like 2017. It's comfortably sat right in the middle of a massive amount of leather. Yeah, I'm not comfortable yeah. with that, Sam. I'm not comfortable. I reckon. With it at all. I reckon it goes all right. I think it's all right as well. Yeah. But then again, some people out there might like the little titles, and yeah. if you do, that's good for you. But we're judging it on our taste. You know, this is our tier. We have Pe Ken Patera, sorry, with an Intercontinental Championship. That is an Intercontinental Championship. Honest. Red strap, silver and gold. 
It's more like a boxing championship than it is a yeah. wrestling one, but I don't know if that's because Vince McMahon changed the way of wrestling, making it more showbiz. Well, there was a lot of there was a lot of belts like this, uh, which were more like strongman and and boxing titles. Um, that were sort of a little bit more flashy, a little bit more showy, so that everybody in the building could see them. Um, I'm not a fan. I was going to say one thing that stood out to me straight away, speaking about the bezel on the, yeah. on the previous one, is the, the no bezel. Really. Yeah, there's a lack of bezel the, here. The, the no bezel. They've, really... sort of, they've had enough leather <laughs> to get to, like the, the belt sort of halfway done, and they've gone, oh, we're out of leather, and they've just made a plate big enough to take the rest of that gap. But I, I think it works. <laughs> I think it works. It does work, because it, it's got that sort of cool, like it's this huge buckle and this huge showpiece at the front, but it's like... But I think the stuff's it's, it's proper it's hard to determine, right? Because like there was the belts were so different back yeah. then that like these could have all worked together well. But But as we're sat here as millennials, yes. dirty horrible stinking millennials in twenty twenty, one thing is letting that thing down for me. The detailing on the gold is amazing. I love the little grappling thing in the middle, the little gems and stones and whatnot. Yeah. But it looks like it's set on something a teapot is made out of. Yeah, it, it looks well cheap the yeah. way it's sat on that like bit of mirror or tin or whatever it is. Tin, that's what but I'm looking for. Uh, it just looks yeah. like tin. It also looks like something Flash Gordon would wear. <laughs> like it's, it's just like... a word for it. <laughs> <laughs> or like a Heat Man belt. But, yeah. So why are you, why are you thinking? Oh, again, I think, I think it's hard to pass judgment on these old titles. I think it's, it's, a, it's a standalone thing. I think it's all right, mate. Yeah, I think it's all right. But again, it's all right. have we been blinkered by modern times? Potentially. So here we have Wendy Richter with one of the earlier women's championship belts. And look at how bloody small it is. I bet you would hope well, if, you're from, the, if this... you're from Texas or somewhere like that, it's got a belt like that just in your wardrobe. This will be the Moolah <laughs> title, right? Yeah, maybe. So this is because Moolah used to have a framed picture of herself in the middle of it. I love that design. I think the NWA's brought that back. Hulk Hogan had one, you know. Did he? Yeah, in the, of I think it was 1986. They did a, or 1984. It was one, year, one of those years, like around that time. They, you know the the belt he had where it was sort of like it went up like that, like the weird championship it, they did. It'll be there. coming later. Yeah. But yeah, there was a, a version of that where I think instead of the globe, there was a little like frame, and inside of that was a picture of Hulk Hogan. I going. love that though. <laughs> I look. I think NWA's recently brought that back with their women's championship, yeah. and I it's, just it's it's different to what we all have everywhere else. Now, it really. is different. It's weird though because you're sort of wearing a little shrine to yourself around your waist. <laughs> That's the one thing I always like. It always looks like somebody's died. Yeah. So like you're walking out with a picture of yourself on this like votive, like jeweled. And it's like second there. <laughs> is that the old Intercontinental Championship we've just done? <laughs> with a different Come on, have, a, have a quick look. <laughs> So it, it might it actually might. be. <laughs> <laughs> They've just stuck a woman's picture in the middle. Oh no, of it. no, no! no. The, there's, oh, it's, I think it's the same shape. It's the plate, same design. But it's, it's no, because there's no eagle at the bottom, and there's a, there's a <laughs> picture in the middle. I think it's the same shaped plate, but it's not the, it's not the exact same belt, just repurposed. <laughs> Lack of originality, just about bearable. I, I've, I, I get that you know it's nice. There's a picture of the champion and stuff in it, but for me, this was like. Nah, this because th that could be any belt from any promotion anywhere. Yeah, and I get that that's supposed to be sort of the point in these times, but like, there's nothing about that that's like for Wendy Richter as well to be wearing something that looks like it's just come out of a great grandma's house. Might she have been traveling while holding this as well? Quite possibly, but she's only going to be working for like either Vince or one of Vince's associates, right? Mm -hmm. so, Maybe. Uh... I think it's all right, mate. But if, if if you want to put it lower, I'm fine with that. I think I don't, it I don't think it's. I think, uh, I think it's. If, if, if we're putting all the oldies in together, I think that's fair. We're not putting all the oldies in together. Well, like like you know the you know we've got three of the big oldies there. Mm. Keep them together. They're all all right. We can't really pass too much judgment on them. I think it's an all right design. Yeah. So next up, we have the current day women's tag team championships. Now. And what were you going to say? I, I, I don't know. Well, <laughs> despite the fact they've done not well, they're just starting to, to do it right, but it's like they did nothing to help these belts. No. Uh, they are beautiful. They are beautiful belts. I don't know. It's, but, but there's something not... Quite... They're a bit Incan. They're a bit like... What do you mean by like, Incan? Like, sort of... Have you seen like the Lucha Underground title where it's got like a lot of Aztec patterns? Yeah. Uh, they sort of like... They look a bit like Aztec. They look a bit sort of strange and like South American like fossils and like they're very like patterned and it's got a celebratory reef around the side yeah it's it's sort of it's got that weird like mix of that sort of style and like the the more I guess Roman or Greek style with the leaves and like the Olympic style but it's the beautiful belts 
But my big problem now is whoever designed these obviously did the IC belt, the new one. Yeah. And the new IC belt, it's nice, but... It's not as good, as it? I think it's no. beautiful, the new IC it's, Championship. But you it's... could have changed any other belt yeah. to that belt and everybody would have gone mental. But... It was literally the last championship that needed changing and they went and changed it yeah. for some reason. Some people seem to think it's because Cody oh, Rhodes brought it in and now he's obviously there's, AEW. there's far too much tinfoil going on. <laughs> but it's, uh, I mean, like, Cody Rhodes brought it back. So it existed for decades yeah. before Cody Rhodes brought it back. But again, the predominant silver on this one is, is holding me back. And uh, side plates as well. Where do you stand on these modern-day side I plates? Hate, I hate them I hate as well. the side plates. It's, just, it's, a, it's a crap excuse to just... Get extra money. Somebody pays <laughs> 300 quid for a belt and they really like Alexa Bliss. Like, so 360 quid on a belt, right? Their mates dropped 360 quid on their belt, yeah. right? And now they've got to go out and spend all this money on two sets of plates to go on the sides. And the logos are crap when they do it as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's... What was wrong with just their name? Or, like, go back to the old time, just have get nothing. a picture of them in the middle. Why just the hell not? Nothing. Like, you don't, you I, you could, I get why they do it, it's marketing and all that stuff, but it's just like, do you really need it? No, you Do you, you really don't. need it? If you're the champion, it doesn't matter, that's your belt, yeah. that's it. Like, everybody knows it's your belt, or at least they should, if you're doing your job properly. Yeah. So, like, ah. Uh, it's but, just that, the big gold champ, the big gold belt, like, when I, it had the little nameplate on, I was like, oh, that's I'm so not much. against gold and silver mixed, because I think it, it looks really cool, it breaks the eye up, it makes it look like there's many more layers to the belt than there are. Because if you look at them, they're pretty flat. It's just been really well milled and put together. But it's like, it makes it look so much deeper to have the silver and the gold. But the, again, the prominence of the silver, I don't know, that's not yeah. really your thing. But for me, I quite like that. The white strap as well is in its favour. Yeah, the white strap's oh, always white good, stripes are lovely. Um, I'm, it's, it's at least lovely, lovely, lovely. I think lovely, lovely, lovely. If not higher. Next up, Sam, speak to me about this one. Ivan Koloff. So this is the, I believe this is the WWWF... Yes, I think this is the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. So this is another iteration of the belt. So Koloff was the first big evil heel. He was the first big foreign menace champion. Um, and yeah, he, he just he sort of... Was he the man to beat Bruno? He beat Bruno, yes. Yeah, that's why he must have won that thing, yeah. I guess. I, if, I might be wrong here, but it looks like there's a sheriff's badge... On the it's, side. I'm Sheriff. Again, it, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm Sheriff Volkov. Uh, but it, it's... Uh, Volkov? Kolov. Kolov, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, again, I think it's because it's one of those belts from back in the day. It's like a proper, proper, proper old belt. So that entire it's, picture is just too much of a throwback for my brain to compute. Yeah. That's a different time, isn't it? Yeah. When men were men. Yeah, when they start to <laughs> they start to know how to shoot on each other just in yeah. case they're going to get screwed out of the title. Getting guns fired at them by, by the, the the riled up fans. But I think it's it's by far my least favourite of the old old ones. Yeah, definitely. It looks like an old English like boxing belt. Doesn't I don't it? know if it's, it's just got like adornment like royalty. It looks like your grandma's teaspoon collection. I don't know if it's just the picture as well, but the, the strap looks like velvet. <laughs> It probably would be crushed velvet or something like oh, that. Oh, my hands couldn't deal with that. <laughs> oh, I don't like velvet. Blah, blah, blah. Horrible. <laughs> so what are you thinking? I'm thinking just about bearable. Just because the t you've got to think about this being the 70s. Yeah. And the, the, the times and big things, big belts weren't a thing back then, were yeah. they? Just about. So next up, we have another oldie times women's championship. Lilani Kai there with the fabulous Moolah. Boo. She never did anything to hurt nobody. What are you on about? <laughs> no, um, I, the, again, we, there's such a weird phase of women's titles in Why WWE. Why are they so small? I guess because women are small and dainty. Oh, <laughs> God. Like, and dated thinking. But, like, it, it's... I don't know, like... Because <laughs> if you remember, like, Medusa's... Tiny. Oh, tiny. Oh, we'll get on that later. Oh, pink strap and as well. pink, yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way, pink, we have. Like baby, baby, pink. yeah, yeah. Like, like, what the, the, like the pastel, the, the girl group from Greece. What were they called? I don't even know. I hate Greece, man. <laughs> <laughs> the pink ladies, I think they were called. Maybe something like that. Greece is horrible, it's, isn't it? It's where, it's where my family are from. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, the film. All oh, right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not just, just a random entire group. country. Not just a like, random group of ladies from like, Greece. You said, what's that girl group from Greece? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, the film with the singing and the dancing and the cars. Right, yeah, oh no, I can't stand that. The chicks will I'm cream not a and all that malarkey. I'm not you know, a like, the song fan. says that? Did yeah. they sing that in school? There's also a line which is, did she put up a fight? Which is quite concerning. <laughs> mm. But, you know. <laughs> Less about Greece. Yeah. More about this title. The turquoise 
uh, leather strap, I'm a fan of. Yes, the I'm fact a big that fan of coloured straps. The old, the old gold aesthetic, yes, I'm on board with. But in this instance... I can't even remember ever seeing this. Neither can I. <laughs> it's like they used to just make a belt, get rid of it, make a belt, get rid of it. But women's wrestling back here wasn't very prominent at all. No, right? it was it was, it was. was usually Especially resigned on a poster. It was the horrible thing it would just say, like, plus ladies. Yeah. And sometimes, using two very horrible ways to look at things, it would say, plus ladies and midgets. <laughs> like, they would just... It was like card and then bum bum, like just yeah. an afterthought. It's just like... But I'm thinking just about bearable. I don't think it's as bad as the NXT, the, the the basic bitch NXT Tag Team Championships, but I think it's it's not very good, is it? Yeah. It deserves to be a bit better. Next up, we have the World Tag Team titles from the Raw days back in today. I think these are lovely, me. I can't stand them. Can you not? No. Nah. Oh, why? I, I don't know. I just... They're just so of the time, aren't they? Like... What do you mean? The Undisputed Championship is beautiful. Yes, it is. But every they're single the, belt like, didn't have to look like it. They're like a little smaller version, yeah. aren't they? I never thought of it that way, yeah. but they are, aren't they? That's why, like, I, I'm, I'm, it's similar to today. Like, not every belt should look the same. Yeah. But it's like, it's one of those things where I think this was when I was just starting to maybe step back as a fan for a little bit. But I remember my brother had a toy version of these, and it was cool. But I, I always... I was a sucker for a different belt that I think people sleep on. I've never ever looked at those belts in that way, even it's though it's obvious. Always now. the font. It was the font that always made us realise, and then yeah. obviously the, the, we once the, see the shape of the the um, plate. But I think that's why I sort of like them. But at the same time, I'm like, eh, because they remind me of the undisputed title. Always a fan of the red, though. Oh, the red! I, I love when they add colours to the the actual plates. Yeah, but I think that's really cool. So where are you thinking then? Because you've just changed my world here with that revelation. What well, I what see. <laughs> I think they can either go top of all right or bottom of lovely, lovely, lovely. But nowhere much higher. Should we go top of all right? Because I don't think they're on par with Shayna's and yeah. the hardcore and the NXT tag teams. Right then. So next up we have Pedro Morales with one of... Is there is that Don Morocco? It's Don Morocco <laughs> with, one of the, with one of the original... It's, it's one of the old boys. <laughs> it's with one of the original... Who even remembers the record? One of the original Intercontinental Championships. Yes. And this one was a half and half scarf of a championship. Half of it was red, half of it was blue. And I'm not a fan of that at all. I'm uh, you're not a fan of half and half scarf, so you know. No. I, I quite... I quite like it, but at the same time, I understand why. It's I saw a, bit. a picture of this championship unfilled, and he's holding it up in his hands. And I it was, looks oh. like it looked like two bits of Velcro that from the wrong belt. It just didn't look right. Like you I put the wrong pair of socks away. Yeah, I just if it was the, the the shade of blue they've used there, that picture isn't the best. I know. Yeah. But I, I'm just not a fan of this at all, me. No. You? <sighs> Part of me. Now that I've had a closer look at the belt. The suspense is killing me. Nah. <laughs> nah, like, the more I look at it, the more I see... I just see that tin plate with that beautiful, ornate, like, golden <laughs> two blokes wrestling and an eagle underneath and metal plate. Yeah, why did they do that? <laughs> and so then, like, a, a, a horrible screwed-in bit on top would just say, Don. Intercontinental <laughs> Championship. <laughs> why did it... Like, such <laughs> in, intricacy on the upper Yeah, bit, and, and the it's just, it just... It's like... <laughs> I guess it's like getting, like, a massive, like, well-sculpted marble thing for your house and just, just like sticking it on your four. toilet <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not a fan of this one I think uh, I think just about bearable bottom are just about bearable yeah, maybe I don't think it's been worthy it is uh, quite nice in some lights I guess yeah well let's move on so here we have the 2002 Hardcore Championship. Now, I don't know if this is customised by Tommy Dreamer. I should have researched this, but we didn't have time. Right. Um, but it's got a big New York like licence plate on it. And pff, it's doing out for me. See, That's like, not hardcore. I, I quite like it in some respects. But at the same time, the belt it's replacing, you can't bet. Nah. So there's nothing you can physically do. Now, there are some old... Old ass license plate belts from back in the day where smaller promotions would basically use a chunk of license plate or like something of similar size and it would get called like the license plate title. But like, no, nah, this is just, I get that it's like, oh, it's just something that's cool. It's on the street. It's on the street and it's, you know, it's what we do, but it's also got these massively ornate side plates. So what's actually underneath that bit on front? The belt belief is way too clean to be the hardcore title. And I get this, you know, a yeah. championship should be prestigious. Is it one of the tag belts, maybe? Something you want to own. No, don't be silly. 
No. So what is it? I've got no idea. I should have researched this a bit more. I wish we had more time to do Those side plates, I don't think I've ever seen before. No. But it's too clean. Unless that's actually just a belt. It's like too belts. clean, Sam, to be the it hardcore title. It is. To be the hardcore title, it should be desecrated. It should be covered in poop. It just, uh, and it should have spray painty bits on it, bits of duct tape. None of it's working for me, so I'm, I'm, tempted, no. I'm tempted for the bin. I reckon it goes in the bin. I'm not a fan at all. And unless Tommy Dreamer's willing to drink another cup of wee. <laughs> for Straight from the urinal. So next up, and I had to include this one because I absolutely love it as a gimmick. The half and half, sorry, well, it's split in two, women's championship for I, I was, I was well Yo gone by not this enough point. For I, was, me. I was well oh, gone by this point. No. <laughs> Just another man <laughs> not with me. I'm a massive fan because they, they were both champion, but they both couldn't have the title, so they're splitting an arm. Yes, but <laughs> again, I wasn't around at the time, so I'm going to leave this to your judgment. Oh, I think it's just about all right. Yeah, <laughs> I, do, I do like it, though. We'll get onto the proper women's title a bit later, but I just had to include that as a customizable gimmick. Yeah, thing because of course. It's, it's genius for yeah, a pair it's of heels like that. another design. So, so, yeah, just split it in half like that. Dastardly. <laughs> so yet another <laughs> strange title sensational uh, sherry there with another women's championship that is smaller than a wasp yes it is it, it's <laughs> I do like the blue strap I, I think quite, that's yeah, lovely the, I like the globe on it the globe's really cool but the rest of it it's very ornate it is isn't it that could, that could easily go in your grand's living room oh yeah oh she could serve tea off that <laughs> I'm not a fan of it at all. Nah, I and certain th- parts of it are nice, but it, it's the size. I quite like it, but it, it is—it's just teeny tiny, isn't yeah, it? Why is why is it so small? Again, because women are so dainty and small and can't <laughs> wrestle. Because nineties. Say that to Sherry's face. Oh, she'd bat. She'd she'd bat. Know, piss out me. hard as piss. Yeah. Apparently, right then. But I think this might be bin worthy. Is it too intricate? I, bin there's only one women's title that's bin worthy. Oh yeah, yeah. In real it's, life. Not as, it's not as bad as that. <laughs> so I think yeah, just about bearable, just because of the size. I do like the colour scheme. I like the gold. I like the globe. Why this is small, Vince McMahon? Why this is small? I don't know. It's different time, isn't it? Oh, top. Oh, tier. I just had a trouser accident. Best tier. This is this is this the one. This is the greatest title belt of all time. That font for champion. I don't know what font it it's is. It's like an Art Deco font. Oh, it but it beautiful. does it for me. It is beautiful. Like, this title was my childhood. This it was, was yeah. This was my peak watching years. All of my figurines came with this as a miniaturized toy. Like, this is it. This is the be-all and end-all. This it's, is my... It's probably one of the only belts I would ever happily own. I mean, it's in the best tier. We don't need to say any more about that. Mm. But for me, personally, this is my favorite title of all time. I think it's... Yeah. I think, for me, definitely my favorite WWE title. I don't know if it's because of rose-tinted Spectre Clays and... Ooh, the Attitude Era. Oh, it was good. But it was, then. like, the perfect size. It, it was originally on a uh, on a blue strap. Yeah, I didn't include um, that one. But, but, yeah, it was pretty much the exact same belt. It's not a different colour in it. Mm. But it's... I mean, we've already had one of those, though. <laughs> <laughs> but... It's more famous for the for the uh, black strap, and it, it's just. But the shade of blue they used originally, because oh, it's great. when Vince it was the night after WrestleMania 14, and Austin's out there in yeah. a suit and tie. It wasn't the right shade of blue, so I'm glad no. they changed it to black. Yeah, very happy they changed it. To but black. it's it's just the best. Yeah. it's the best. Next up, we have another customizable inter, uh, sorry Ultimate Warrior yes. Intercontinental Championship. This time on a yellow strap. There is a funny story about these belts. Go apparently. On, sir. So according to Conrad Thompson. Of the famous some ah, wrestling with Bruce and Richard cheeks. podcast uh, and several others, uh, he's a big belt guy. But I was listening to an episode and he was saying that uh, allegedly <laughs> Warrior like knew how popular this belt was on the yellow strap, um, and there were several different versions made by Warrior on the slide, <laughs> and he would travel to and from conventions and just sell them to people, telling them it was the original belt. Um, and there is apparently one person who he thinks owns the real one. Like, there is definitely somebody that owns the real one, but he wouldn't reveal who it was. But yeah, apparently Warrior used to just go around and be like, do you want the belt? And he'd just sell it for, like, massive amount of money for something that was probably made, like, three weeks beforehand. The carny bugger. Yeah. But I like it, me. Some people might think the yellow and the gold clash. I think it's popping. Oh, yeah, well, my, I think one of my favourite ICs of all time was uh, Gold Dust. Yes, gold we'll gold. That. I've oh. got one hell of a picture for that one, so I can't <laughs> wait to get it on the screen. It might get the video demonetised, it's that I, I genuinely think this could be in the best. Ooh. Genuinely. 
It's I do. Oh. It's going to be at least top of lovely, lovely, it's lovely. A, I'd, I'd say lovely, lovely, lovely. I wouldn't put it in the best. Look at it though. It is nice. Though. Look at it. That banana yellow. A banana, a banana rama. It's like the Newcastle <laughs> Wicket in 2009, 2010. Oh. But I don't think it. Well, look at the belts up there. We've got the big that's eagle, true. the that's, winged eagle. That's history, that. Yeah, I don't think it's up there, quite up there. But it's it's definitely in the conversation of lovely, 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 yeah. if not a bit higher. So next up, oh, the, the person red. that Hulk Hogan stole all of his stuff from. <laughs> <laughs> We've already had Flair, now we'll do Hogan. Yeah. Um, so, superstar Billy Graham with the... With some fantastic mutton chops. Yeah, some fantastic mutton chops. But uh, with the... the oh, it's commonly referred to as the Backland belt. Mm. Uh, it's a standard sort of plate shape. Uh, your more traditional wrestling belt shape. I love shape. the shape of the plate, yeah, me. Sort of like oh, an eye shape, isn't it? Sweeping. But uh, it's got a massive... It's like a gold background, which is all patterned. Uh, and then it says like like WWF wrestling champion or whatever. And there's a massive eagle that's also gold who's coming out of the front. And so when you're first looking at the belt, it's a sort of a bit jarring. And so you realize that it is an eagle. Uh, when you see one in real life, it's even worse because it actually comes out by some way. Does it? It's quite big. Uh, but yeah, the beautiful, beautiful old school it's belt. It's the red straps for me. The red and the gold just does something to my oh, it, well, it's, it's like a North American title, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. I think yeah. this is best to you, me. I think, I think this be. is a massive... For when this would have been, this would have been well, early, early Bruno, 80s. Bruno yeah. held this. Yeah. Like, it's I'd like, you know... It's... Late 70s, early 80s. I think this is a massive step in the right direction. I think it's in the yeah. best. I think it's delightful. Boom. Whoa. Oh! The, oh. Best, the best to you. The undis- no, there's not even a question about the undisputed that. Undisputed championship from Brock Lesnar's heyday. What more yeah. do you... We, you talked me out with the tag team titles before. Yeah. I think this is a lovely belt. It's a beautiful belt. It's a shame they got rid of it. Yeah, it's a shame they got rid of it, because when we get to that one, I'm going to... There's not even going to be a, a friggin' but position But you've got to sell it. toys, uh, Sam. I don't care. I don't care. The, the problem was, when did that belt come in after this one? About 2005, wasn't it? Yeah, so Pimp My Ride hadn't been cool for like five years, and they still banged <laughs> spinners on it. It's awful. Right then, but, ev- the, but this. The, the black and the gold is popping. I'm going to oh, use that beautiful. word again. It's beautiful. They've got the World Wrestling Entertainment Champion on there. The, the well, name this was, this is... was the final belt to carry the WWF logo, I remember. Was it? Yeah. Was it that early? This was the final one. So do you remember, uh, I think there was an original version of the belt made which had WWF on it. And then, yeah, it was changed to World I thought this was firmly same. in just after the E came in. No, I'm pretty sure it's... Uh... But I don't know what you say about it, because the, it's got the wing, it's got an eagle on there you look again, at that, the you, globe and the... But it, you look at that and you're instantly transported back to SmackDown 6 and, and Lesnar's just arrival, like, here comes the pain, like, mm. all of that. It's just there. Some people, I've just noticed Perfectly the thing. Do you, do you like the, the, the twizzly bits on the, the corners of each? Oh, yeah, proper ornate. Yeah. 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 Ah, like, oh, that, yeah. oh that's, that, that might be the one drawback for me, but it's definitely in the best here. I think it only works on a belt like this, though, where it's properly high contrast, because there's so much going on, right? But it's like the original flare belt, where the background was silver or like a more dull gold. And then you had all the detail and shiny, so it looks like it's darker when really it's not. Yeah. So you get that sort of contrast, which is beautiful. It's the Doesn't look like belt. it's all mushed together. In the bin! Yes. So here we have the originals. John, well, John Cena's spinner championship. Absolutely. You can see the... There's not a word I can say on camera right now that describes how much I hate this belt. I hate the way it says champ. I hate the spinny logo. I hate I everything. Hate, I, hate I hate the font that they put their name in. Yeah. I hate the friggin' side plates. I hate the property of WWE with like a thousand diamonds. All of the silver bits. Oh, the little crown on the top it's, with the eagle. Yeah, it's there's oh, nothing. Oh, the champ font is awful. The yeah, champ I forgot about font, that. Yeah. There is nothing redeemable Whoever about this invented this genuinely needs to be ashamed of themselves. But also must be a genius because apparently they made a lot oh, of Oh, they would have made a hell of a lot of My brother had toys in it. Like, <laughs> like, but. Like, Look at it, man. Why did it not die when Cena's reign ended? Because he was always going to get the belt back and he'd bring it back because he's cool and has spinners on his car, despite yeah, the fact yeah. it's 2005. I hate, yeah, I just think we need to move on because it's putting too much of a bad oh. move. Here we have the 24-7 championship with Tito <laughs> Santana, the first ever 24-7 champion. It's not. It's an intercontinental... It's the Saudi Arabia title. <laughs> <laughs> it's the intercontinental championship from way, way, way back in the day. Right. And I, for one, Sam, like it. I think it's it's cool, but the detail is so hard to make out here. It looks a bit like a chicken nugget. 
<laughs> There's like you can see a bit in the middle, and you can see two little cool bits there, but the rest of it don't know if looks it's like a golden chicken nugget, which in my book that gets it in the best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's just the light, but they haven't the detailing hasn't gone all the way to the edges of the the, the middle plate, has it? I, I think because sort of I think well because I think if you're looking at it, like you think it's going off up on that side, but really what I think's happening there is it's it's too like olive branches or whatever it is. Um, and it's like that details on both sides, but I think just because it's green and gold, I think just the top of all right. I don't think it's yeah. quite. It's not on the same level as Shayna's or the women's tag team titles yeah. or the, the men's. I think it's all right, but it's a nice belt. I do quite. Oh like yeah, it. I like. I always the thing with WWE I always liked was the number of side plates on the older titles. Yeah, more side plates the better. I see. I think we should put this the exact same place Medusa put hers. That's what I was thinking. Alundra Blaze to those who didn't know. It's look at how small it is compared to it is, Carnival. It is the most nineties belt. Or like late eighties, early nineties belt if you look at it. You can tell this was designed by tell, a fifty year old man as well. But you can tell that it was it was probably designed by a toy company, but it 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 looks like the era it was from. Like it's got like cool line work and it's got colours and it's got a big pink strap and it's like the way it looks and everything, it just screams like late eighties. I hate it, me. I'm not a fan. I hate it with a passion. I'm not a fan. The one redeeming feature I can see is the red on the WWE F logo. Yeah, I think that's I nice. I like that. I, li I think that's nice, but I think that's, yeah. that's the only good thing I can say about this. <laughs> Shall, Shall we? It goes in the bin. Boom! Oh, we're in the Monday Night Wars. Way. Oh. So next up, we have a Terrence Hogan at WWF World also Championship. Known as the ECW Championship. <laughs> it does look like a miniature yeah. version of that belt. I don't like this one, me. And I guess this is judging by Hogan's hairline about 1984. So this was after they um, got rid of the big green, I believe. Mm. So it goes big green monster and then this, I think. Uh, and then there's a couple of variations and then we get the winged eagle. So it's not great by any stretch. There's some later belts with Hogan that are slightly better. But this one is, it's so generic. Yes, yeah. it's got WWF, but it doesn't have the logo. No. Um, it's sort of... I know it's got WWF at the top there. It does, but it's not the it's not like the logo logo. No. It's not like the iconic branding. It just seems like they toned it down because the big green monster was ridiculous. Mm. It seems like they just went, oh, I'll just make it like a normal belt, normal belt, and like sort of cool off for a few years. I'm not a fan of this at all for a world title. No, it just, no, I'm not having it. No, it doesn't look great. I does don't it? think it's been worthy. But it I looks think like it's... a tag title. Yeah, I think it's bottom of just about bearable. Yeah, I don't think it's an ugly belt. I just think it's too basic. Yeah. Next up in the bin, the Universal G G Championship because oh, Jam, big gold Jam. Jam, I'm not oh. a fan. No, it did. After I've got to say though, after the original shock of SummerSlam 2016, where the crowd and everyone watching just crapped on the thing. Yeah, it did become like it did look normal towards the end of it. I. I just think if they were going to do this, they had to turn the WWE Championship blue. Mm. Just go both feet in with it because this is a bold statement. <laughs> so if you're going to do it with one, do it with the other, and then nobody can crap on it as much because both belts have changed. It's not like you just give them one this weird treatment where it's now the Universal Championship, which somehow makes it better than the World Championship. The thing is, though, if well, it was a, I, if, if the strap was a deeper red, it would be so much nicer. Well, it's the blue. I think the blues are slightly deeper blue, and it yeah. works so it's much better. It's just the fact it's such a garish, horrible red. It just didn't work. And the thing is, I know that people hate the the new layouts, and I'm not a fan. But like the the whole reason they have to do this for anybody that doesn't know, the whole reason that they do the big logo now is because any single time they're on the news, any time they're used in newspapers, any time they're on TV, any time. Anything happens, that logo is now everywhere. Mm. It's all over Twitter, it's all over Facebook, and the champion's always holding the belt up high. The logo's just there, prominent, and that's never going away. That I think it's, that's it forever now. I think it's a shame that is. Yeah, it's a shame, but I I don't know. It's definitely one of the lower three. I reckon very bottom of all right. Uh, yeah, it sort of did become sort of acceptable towards <laughs> yeah. the end of its run, so I guess it's not. Yeah, I think. Just look at the other people in uh, just about bearable. Got the US title. It's better than that, I think. Yeah. The cruiserweight is better than that, definitely. Sasha Banks, well, the original NXT Women's Championship, I think, is better than that. So I think, yeah, bottom of all right. It's yeah. just about fair. So oh, next on, the here big, it is, bloody the big green, green monster. monster. 
<laughs> Look so at Freddy Blassie there. <laughs> this belt was apparently made out of really cheap tin from like a like a trophy store. Made it. Was it? Uh, apparently so, yeah. It looks a lot better than that. Yeah. Well, apparently the rumour is when this belt was done with, it was just thrown into a trash can. Oh. It was just because it was so cheap and sort of knackered. It was just like, eh. Do you know Straight what away. was written on the side plates? Because uh, why is, why Side is plates were winners of the titles. Because remember, back, back in this day, people weren't like just getting belts every other week. Yeah. So it was like, you've got a reign, your name would be etched. Sort of like the IWGP Championship. Your name sits on the title... Uh, and I like that. It. I like yeah, that. I, I really like do too. like that. And it's the green and the this the eighties and the green and gold for some reason works for me. It does, but this green's slightly different to the other one. This looks more like your grandma's really bad Mac. Like no, you know, like the 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 really bad seventies bathroom sets that people thought were a great <laughs> idea that were some for some reason like a horrible bottle green. Yeah. Yeah. I still think it's quite nice. Part oh, it's a nice one. belt. It's huge. You can get a really nice replicas of it still today. Uh, it's quite a popular belt with collectors. I think it's... top of all right is screaming out to me. Yeah. I don't think it's as good as Shane is. I don't know if this is just us being dirty millennials again. As we'll see, saying, I guess. See well, I mean, all I know is that Steve's at the top and that's all that matters. <laughs> in the bin. So next up, this we, we have the fixed plate in the middle that's there. That's fine. They put, a, they put a bit of blue tack behind it. In yeah, the bin. In the it's bin. Still, it's still bin. In the bin. Business. That man... Carrying that slab of decadent crap it's to not the right, ring. It? No. It doesn't make any sense. No. Look how thick that side plate is. Yeah. You'd kill a small child with that. <laughs> you can literally, many... He can literally whip that off and discus it and probably nail about six people in there. Someone head. do a Google and find out how many children died as a result of WWE Championship toys in this well, when he When he escaped, when he escaped through the crowd, those, the belts would have been <laughs> flapping around. He's probably killed about six kids. We can neither confirm or deny those reports. But I'm yeah, going to say it's, about it's, seven. It's the bin. <laughs> in the, the bin. bin Anything to do with that title is getting in the bin. We're going to have loads of kids going, this isn't fair. Yeah. In the bin. Right. So now we have the sort of debut of the logo being the, the prominent feature on the world title. And when it With came... champion. When it came Ryan. in... It meant the end of John Cena's title. And it was heralded with such joy. Oh, but looking back now, the champion font, not a fan of that at no, all. it looks awful now, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And at the time, we were going mental for it, weren't we? Because it wasn't a spinner. <laughs> <laughs> it could have literally been, literally been a golden poo emoji, not even on a belt. That's it. The champion has to carry that out with them everywhere they go now. And everybody still would have cheered. And of course, even though it's much the same as today's, I think there's is there is there, is there more detailing down the side. Oh, it's so you have a different pattern behind. Yeah. So you have um, there's like thicker, it's like uh, rectangle thicker skin. sort of yeah, like like sort of branded in, I guess maybe. But that's sort of being punched in thicker. It doesn't look like just straightforward normal cheap leather. It's really detailed. You have the WWE logo that runs along the stitching now as well. It's yeah. not just on the sides. Uh, and obviously the side plates and stuff are a little bit more detailed, but yeah, no, this is, I mean, for I what it meant, it's important, but yeah. looking back looking now, back at it, yeah. is it, is it, is it lovely? I think it might be lovely. It's either top of, top of all right or bottom of lovely. Sorry, I'm not just pulling faces, but we've got it on a screen got here, it on a screen I'm not trying to just, so we can see what we're talking about. But I think it's it's either bottom of lovely or top of all right. Is no, it's not on the same tier of shit. No, no it's, it's not. all it's an all right. It's an all right. But but below Bray, it's got to be below Bray. Yeah, let's, let's put them. But thank God them. it was a thing that became that came into our lives because it meant the end of Cena's spinner thing. Now we have our childhood Intercontinental Championship. Yes. I'm sure you weren't watching when the the original Cody one he brought back was in. Uh, I I sort of was dipping in and out, but this is this is uh this is my this is nostalgia, isn't it? Yeah, this is nostalgia. With Umaga, the, I miss Umaga. Do you not mean Umanga? Sorry, William Regal. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a beautiful belt, but it's not as good. It's as not as good one. as what I remembered. No, it's not, is it? Bloody rose tinted glasses. Yeah, I think. Whoa. Oh, that on white would have been beautiful. Though. It would have been. Oh, and I don't think it's anywhere near as nice as the one just before the current one or the one that had in the nineties. I don't no, think it's anywhere it's, near it's, as nice as yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's the nicest. Well, uh, this is a difficult one. This because it's going to be controversial wherever we put it. Wherever we put it, Sam, it's going to be controversial. What was the nineties one again? The nineties one was the one that Cody brought back. Was there not one between these two designs? There was that one there, the black one. Uh, the one, yes. the, the, one yeah, the rock yeah, had, yeah, I've got yeah, it in yeah. there somewhere. But it's basically yeah. the, the one that's coming up in a couple okay. of points' time. Um, all oh. right. No, it's not. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely, 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 lovely. It's got to be lovely, lovely, lovely. 
Come on, it's the Intercontinental Championship best. Next up, we have the See, the, 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 the WWF I, Tag Team Championship. I prefer slightly altered version of these. What the hell? I prefer the SmackDown ones. Do you? Oh! The SmackDown ones are tasty. These, I get, these are a big part of our childhood. But I don't know if it's because me and my brother owned toy versions of them. But I think I just got bored of looking at them. <laughs> they were around from the, they you know, were the late very, 80s yeah. until 2002. Yeah, so um, I, I, like, we had these toy versions and it was like... You know, you'd see, I'd see them every day. So for they me, are like, lovely titles. They though. are lovely. I the think they, they have the main... to go in lovely. Have to. Oh, that was version towards the best. Oh, just, well, yeah, the best. They're classic, aren't they? It, well, that that unique like shape of the front plate is beautiful. Yeah. I hate, I hate that they've gone back through the galleries and got rid of all the old logos. I know, yeah, it ruins it a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know why. Why would they do that? I don't understand why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, any disagreements best. there? I think best. it's in the best. Any criticisms about these ones? Are they a bit the, the attention to detail? I think they the could place? have changed them up a little bit during the run because they were around for a long time. Oh, but they became part of the furniture. They're they the tag did, team but like, I don't think you ever want your your title to become part of the furniture because it's the thing that you're fighting for. I don't know. So the, lineage, should never feel... the lineage plays a part, doesn't it? Oh yeah, but so that, that's the titles demolition held and the road warriors held and go back through all those teams and whatnot. Yeah. So next up, we have a version of the Intercontinental Championship that was before the white strap. Yes. Uh, I think. <laughs> but the, there's a big crucial difference here which makes this, I think, personally, it's in the best here. A tiny touch that changes the belt so much. The red logo. Yeah, just a red logo. Oh! And I don't know if it's just because it's a handsome man called Ricky holding it, but yeah. that, that thing is beautiful. It is beautiful. 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 I don't know what... This, I don't know what... Is there a bad it's thing to the, say about it? There's not really a lot you can say. It's the, it's the design we all know and love, but with a lovely, big, block red... WWF I'll tell you what though AEW's tag team championships have, the, have a similar design don't they in the middle yeah that's irrelevant so I don't know why I said it I yeah. think it's in the best me. I think it's best do you yeah. that's a nice thing to agree upon yeah next up we have Warriors oh. turquoise thing oh. and this is just 1980s oh. all over isn't it it's beautiful I think it's lovely me. it's the beautiful tur is it turquoise or is it baby blue I can't work it's, out from that picture like a, yeah, I think it's like a baby blue I don't know baby blue with the ultimate warrior baby I, wait, it's the classic winged eagle, so it's got to be at least be, lovely, lovely, yeah. lovely. I think, if, I think it's personally in the best. I team. think if white's going in the best, this has to go in the best. I think it's a lovely, a lovely, a right touch, a right touch. Oh, it's old school soccer, am that? <laughs> Who used to do that central? Who did it from? I can't, I can't remember, even it. remember. Next, oh, bin, 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 bin. bin, bin. bin. If you, oh, nobody can defend this sack of crap because this sack of crap led to the friggin' spinner belt. For podcast listeners, this is US. It's a, Word life, John Cena. <laughs> oh. John Cena's custom US title, which he had numerous times because he won the thing numerous times. That's uh, when he wore padlock round his it neck. It was his first spinner belt. I hate, look at how John Cena is written in cursive. I hate the big US I and its glittery, sparkly it. bollocks. It just looks plastic. It is. I don't, know what, oh. I don't know what you can say. There's nothing nice. The, the, the shades of the old NXT Women's Championship in it really, isn't there, when you look There's, at it? The shades are nout. Like, this is the worst <laughs> belt, possibly worse than the spinner. I wonder how many toys they sold of this title. It's literally, like they, they just went, you got any, the, any circles? Yeah, just gives one circle on either side, big circle on the bottom, and then a smaller circle, but make sure it spins. And he's like, right, yeah. Awful. Right, so next up we have oh. Daniel. This, this is Marmite, right? You either love this or you hate this. And I, for one... In terms of mahogany being used, I think it's mahogany, it looks like mahogany, me A-level DT coming in here, <laughs> being used as the back with the lighter shade on top, I think is beautiful. I think it's, I really love what it stands for, I really love what it is, I hate that they charge you like 400 quid for one, mm. but yeah, how can you not bang this in probably the top? I think it's the top, me. Yeah. I know it's the, it's got the Hessian strap and whatnot, but that was the gimmick that was intended to rally yeah, you up and that think, was oh, the whole point. Use yeah. leather. Uh. But I think when you look at the thing, the the blue on the logo, like oh, little the pebble little effect. Turquoise effect. Yeah. Oh, it's, I think it's beautiful, beautiful. me. As a plate, just on it. If you, if you can have that on your mantelpiece or wall. Oh yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Mahogany should be used for a lot of things. <laughs> so next up, we have the greatest women's champion of all time, the cat. With the Attitude Era strapping ton, and I don't know. In terms of women's titles, from what we've seen here, it's a leap. It's leaps ahead of anything we've seen so far. Yeah, leaps ahead. I still think it's not in the best. There's just a lack, a lack of effort. <laughs> it's just weird, yeah, because it's just like women's champion, and it's got that weird, like scratchy 
edges that don't really make it's much sense. It's a conflict sense. of styles, isn't it? Because it, look, it looks, it looks like a bit hardcore. Batista's belly button tattoo on the edges. Yeah. It's like sort of all jaggedy and stuff, but then the middle sort of classy and elegant, isn't it? It's weird. I it's think a weird it goes top of all right, bottom lovely, lovely, lovely. Do you reckon? I yeah. think it's it's a, if whatever that, that I, think, I can see Wendy Richter's there. It's got to be higher than that. So I think we'll put it like there. Yeah, I think that's fair. Do you want it above Lake Cools? Above Come on, Lake Cools split it off. <laughs> so next up, we have the current Beautiful. Raw Women's Championship. Beautiful. Pardon me. We're in this era, of course, where every belt has to look the same because of the logo and marketing. No, but the women's belts are so much nicer because yeah. they've got the white backing and then just the logo colour behind. Yeah. Like the show colour behind. It's so good. I'll never forget when Lita unveiled that at WrestleMania. We were yeah. there. Whoa. Best man you ever. Took your breath away. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. It totally it did didn't go it. super long and it totally didn't end horribly. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it did feel nice when you were there, though. Anyway, oh, that's yeah. not why we're here. Uh, when she took that up, the, the little... Cover off the title. And we were like, what's like, that? Whoa. What's that? What's that? What's that? No, we had a big and then we're looking at the screen like, oh, it's a belt. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's lovely, me. And I know yeah, it might, I think it's, it's, people might be a bit numb to it now because it's been around for four, ne nearly four years. But look, just look at it. It's proper eye-catching. And again, again it's, the, it's the old caveat of we've got to have the logo. And I think that's, yeah. that's probably the best of what they could have done with but it. But I think this is it's a much more tasteful way to handle having the colours on the belt. Mm -hmm. Just I don't get why they haven't done this for the Universal Championship yeah. and the WWE Championship. You just put it behind. It makes yeah. sense. It just looks nice. Yeah. It? Where are we going to go? Just because of the circumstances, I think all right. Top of all right. Top yeah. of all right. I just think in terms of a design, yeah. it's not on the same level as the lovely lovely. That is true. Oof. Yep. So now we have uh, <laughs> the Intercontinental title that Cody Rhodes brought back to WWE, last held, of course, by Shinsuke Nakamura before he had it replaced for some reason. Sami Zayn gave it as a present. It's, I don't know what you say. It's it's classic. Let's move on. I don't know what you yeah, have to that say about that. The best. Um, yeah, that's the best here. So next up, we have Bailey with the SmackDown Women's this Championship. This has to go next to Ronda's, right? I think it does as well. Yeah, so it goes next to... Any drawbacks with this one? Is is the blue a bit? Bleh. I think the blue looks worse. But it than works the, for the white. The red. Didn't it? I don't understand why Bailey's side plates have red on them. Like maybe if you're gonna have colours like a single colour on a side plate, why wouldn't you make it blue? Aye, uh, maybe. You could sell so many more that way. Well, she she would have held the raw type title before that one, I guess. Yeah, but if you get her a blue one, that means you can sell one to kids. Yeah, yeah. But I do, yeah. I don't think it's as nice as the red one. So let's put it below that yeah, one, Sam. Yeah, it is but, below. Uh, so, I well, I don't know what else you say about that because this is no. as we say that they're all the same. But the white strap is a big hit. Yes, it is. So next up, we have Taka Michinoku with the original light heavyweight championship, the big red one, and that is a, a lovely red. I like the side plates on this one. The, yeah. the new oh, generation the, yellow. Yeah. yeah. Popping. Yeah. Red and yellow. Hulkamania with Taka Michinoku. <laughs> but I. Michinoku mania. <laughs> it's, it's sort of like a, a sort of Poundland Intercontinental Championship from back then. Sort it of. Looks like in a, a weird way. It looks like a. Like a. A, a national level boxing belt. Yeah, it does. I, yeah. I'm getting those vibes as well. I think I think it's quite nice, me. I think it's it's. I do like the colours. I do like the red and the blue and the gold it's and the yellow up and the there black. And all right, or bottom of lovely, lovely, lovely. I'd say bottom of lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. I think it's really nice. It's all better. Right, it's better than the Universal Championship. It is. It is. Oh God, that's not even lovely, lovely. That, that's all right to you. We're getting yeah. a lot on all right. Aren't Boom. We? So next up we have the current Intercontinental Championship and as a stand as a standalone belt, take any context away from it, it's lovely. But again, they didn't have to change the one we had. It was the one did. it was the one belt that needed no updating at all. Mm -hmm. It's it was just great, it was perfect. Everybody wanted a new US title that looked like the IC belt, but instead we get this. Do you not like it? It's a it's a beautiful belt. But I think I think it's a firm, lovely, lovely. It looks lovely a bit team. like it belongs in in steampunk Becky Lynch's hands. <laughs> Is that with the the, the things cascading yeah. on the sides and whatnot? But I guess people have their own side plates compared to those those things on the yeah, side. Yeah, but there. if you look around the edge of the the main plate, it looks like gears. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. Spoiler: You heard it here first. She's winning it at Mania. <laughs> Um, uh, do, what else do you say about this? I do. Uh, it's brand new. There's no real lineage to it. It's it's a beautiful belt. It's I do, really it's well made. Really, it is really but, nice. Yeah. Um, but I th I think it's firmly and lovely, lovely, lovely to you, me. Well, you stay right there. I'm going to get another beer. Are you? Yeah. Oh well, this is professional. He's gone. Where just he keep going? talking. Keep talking. Oh, he's just yeah. going there. I think it's firmly and lovely, lovely, lovely to you. 
I can't even talk anymore, Sam. How long have we been here for? I, I don't know. I got an hour. Oh, goodness me. We're all right. So next, right, no, let's talk about this a bit more. What do you say about this? Any drawbacks immediately to your mind, apart from the, I, the steampunk influence? I think it's just that it, it didn't need to happen. I think for that reason, people aren't ever going to give it a fair shake. Uh, I do like that the WWE logo is tiny in the mm. middle. That's very nice. Uh, it means that maybe they are switching things up because this looks a lot like the women's tag title as well. Yes. So maybe all the belts are going to start looking like this. But if they are, I'd like some colour added. That is the one drawback to me as well when, you know, Braun's holding it above his head. Because I think that would look awful on white without any colour. Yeah. If you added like a blue in the globe or something. The blue in the globe and something on the globe yeah. in the middle there. Well, I think, like, yeah, that would make it better. But I do think, lovely, lovely, lovely. Do you disagree? Let's put it in there. Put it ahead of Taka. Go yeah, on. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So next up, we have the current Raw Tag Team Championships. Silver again is a big drawback for me. I don't know if that's just me. You might agree at home. You might not. Who I, I, I can't get. I quite, quite like the penny belt. Like Do these, you? yeah, these this shape. I think they're unique enough, and I like the like the Spartans, like the well, the helmet. I do like the heads button together. Yeah, right, that's a nice design. <laughs> but. I don't know what they're better than the penny, like the proper penny ones. The better, the, the, yeah, the, the, the copper ones. The def- like, why would you want a bronze belt? But I don't know why that works better than the universal, like the original universal championship. But it does. I don't know if it's just because it's a solid plate, yeah, and it, it ties it all together a bit better. But it does. It's it's it does better have a than the garish logo in the middle. So it's got to go higher than the universal championship. So it's, yeah. it's at least all right here. I think all right here is where. I, I think want. top of all right. Top of all right. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I do wish they would change them though. Are we going to put it ahead of Ronda and... No. All right, we'll put it there. We'll put it there. Oh, there they are. I really oh, like them as well. These are beautiful. Beautiful. When Stephanie McMahon unveiled them, you know that promo where she's backstage in the computer room thing and she's got them in the camera zooming in and out? Yeah. Oh, what a lovely shot that was. I really like these ones. Based on, of course, the Tag Team Championships in WWE. A little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, definitely. Much more colourful. Or is that just because Zack Ryder is massive? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> But I, the blue, the blue, because obviously it was brought in for the 2002 SmackDown tournament that culminated at Survivor Series 2002, I think. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't know what you say about them because it's just everything we said before, but with blue. Yeah, it's it's pretty <laughs> pretty similar design. There's yeah. not really a lot to say. It's very nice. I think I'm going to put it. Bottom, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I could have said bottom of best. Bottom of best. Ooh. I do. I really like them. Me. Really do like. Go them. on, then we'll look really great. Like I quite like them. Oh, well. I really like them. Somebody hide your wives. It's Edge. Said a man, maybe, one time. Now, oh. I've, I've included this one, and I'm sure it's been a contentious thing for years now. But he won the title, and instead of just redesigning the thing from bo- top to bottom, he did that. He just put a rated R Superstar logo where the WWE spinner once sat. Yeah. Still bin worthy. It is still bin worthy. Yeah. But I just thought it was interesting why he did that. I think he was probably... After a custom belt, and they probably went, This is what we can do for you. <laughs> <laughs> he should have had a just look that all, everything about that. I reckon, pitch. whenever it's like, I want a custom belt, they look at what they've got left in the toy inventory. It's like, No, there's still six warehouses full of the plastic ones. So. Everything about this picture is wrong. <laughs> Edge's barnet doesn't look very good compared to what we know it could look like. If you think his about little it, soul patch, his jacket, his t shirt, he looks like he's just farted. But like, if you if you think about it, they've got all these all these plastic belts. Cena's lost it. All they got to do is open up half of them, put a new middle bit in, <laughs> stick her over it. That's right. It. So that's in the bin. I don't think there's any more discussion Get needs to happen the there. Bin. Oh no, no, no! I'm gonna keep screaming until you put that thing in the bin, Sam. <laughs> keep going, star! Ah, bin it, please, bin it! Oh, the headphone users are gonna die. What are you doing? Don't do this. You're gonna bastardize the entire thing. We've sat here for four hours. <laughs> That's it, sorry. Next up, we have the uni- <laughs> Anything you say about that? What, the, the, the Divas a title is, blo- is a joke. It butterfly. It is a joke. Yeah. So, European Championship. I think this is one of the most underrated titles of all time. Me too, and especially it was on green leather at one point, wasn't it? Oh. And it was beautiful. Oh, but I love the intricacy of everything. Yeah, I love the I love red. The red, the blue, the, the, oh. the coloured flags around it. The little flags are amazing. I, I reckon this is best. D- oh, I was going to say this, but I thought you wouldn't go for it. I think it's bottom uh, of best. Yeah. Above the SmackDown tag titles, I reckon. It is a bit more intricate. Yeah, it is. I think yeah. it's lovely, me. But I'm glad you agree. <laughs> oh, Here is oh. the picture that will get this oh. video demonetized. Here we have Ahmed Johnson 
but with gold dust's custom in the continental championship with the gold strap it's in a... the he is covered <laughs> from head to toe and baby all he is wearing teeny tiny hot pads <laughs> the baby oil is soaking into his hot pads it is you yeah see? either that he's pissed yeah. himself it's one of the two anything could happen my armor johnson yeah i think it's lovely me yeah, it was originally done for Gold Dust. It was it, it looked great on him. Looks just great. But the thing is, with, uh, with Gold on Gold it shouldn't work, but it does. With Mr. Johnson, there ties in with his necklace, with his watch, with his yeah. earrings. They're all golden. It's an. Uh, is it the best here? Is it? No, I think it's top of lovely. Top lovely, of lovely. lovely, lovely. Yeah. I just yeah, it shouldn't work because it's the same color, but it does for some reason. Yeah. Oh, I hate this belt. Uh, even back in 2002, yeah. 2003, when this debuted, Awful. I thought it looked tacky as, tacky as out. Awful. It just, it, it, it's so cheap looking. and oh, did, oh, the size of it's, it's not just, big enough. It's, it's just rank. It is, isn't it? It's just rank. Do we, are we skip? Are we going too fast now? I don't know. Like, it's just, there's not really a lot you can say about it. It's just American flag on a pretty stock background with like a massive gap where the logo goes. It's more offensive than the WCW version by a long way. Oh, yeah. More offensive. Like I think if you if you went up to any American on the street and said you have to wear this to a social function, some would. They they'd they'd pick the WCW one nine times out of ten. Yeah, I'd say so as well. I don't yeah. think we need to say any more about that. Oh, oh, look at him. Look at that. Mark Mero. We thought we sang Johnny B. Bad, but we didn't. Um. So here we have the original. What do you want to call it? The it's it's, it's just glorious, isn't it? It's just wonderful. the original new generation. The new generation yeah. of the Continental IC Championship title on the white strap. There's a reason they brought it back, and that's because it's the best. There's, there's not really a lot to argue with. There's it's not, beautiful. Isn't it? It's just it's beautiful. lovely belt, especially yeah. on. I keep calling him Johnny B. Bag, because that's what Vince McMahon thought he signed, but he yeah. didn't. He got Mark Miller. It's in the best. I've just banged it's in the, the best. best. So here we have the same version, but on the in black the strap. I think it's, it's more like the AEW Tag Team Championship. I should say the AEW Tag Team yeah. Championship is more like that. Um, I'm starting to slur my words. I'm that bloody tired. So here we have there. Aye, I don't know what else to say about that. It's just same belt, it. black strap. Yeah. Best, best, best. We, well, there's several, there's several versions of this title. So we should say for the podcast listeners, it is yes. Triple H's World Heavyweight Championship from the Raw days. Yeah. Which is slightly different from the WCW title they brought over, which is slightly different again from the world title they used in WCW. Yeah, apparently one of the big indicators for, I think, the, the, the long-term one, like the proper one, was that it was, uh, almost white, it was, it it? was like bent. I think it was dropped at some point, so it, the lip of it bends backwards. That's the original WCW one, I think, that came over. Yeah. Um, but then... The one that used the Invasion Because it was originally built by a belt, like a, an actual belt buckle making company called Crumrine. Uh, and so it's got all this amazing detail. Like, if you get like up close and personal with one of the original ones... But, like, there's so many different iterations, but sort of the big gold's just the big gold in it. But mm. it's iconic, but I think the WCW one's better still. I didn't like the one they used in the Invasion. It looked no, different. It, it, the, the gold they it had. It like a flat plate and yeah, stuff on it. It didn't look right. But, yeah, this is, it's the best tier. I don't know what you say yeah, about it. Just there's nothing really you can say. Bloody wonderful. The big gold. Here we have the Penny. Titles brought in twenty. Just about bearable. Twenty. Yeah, I agree. It, it just looks like a. Penny. They're just so they're, they're your standard tag belts. The, the the modern design with the three round faces, except they're copper. Who wants copper belts? Who wants copper belts? Yeah, I don't know yeah. why. I don't know why they chose copper. But it was interesting at the time. Sorry, one, one thing we should say. I think the new day it was this who clarified. Uh, the current ones are not silver. They're actually white gold. Are they? Ah, uh, okay. So it's a common makes misconception. Sense. I don't know if they're they were just lying. silver, though. Yeah, they are silver. Um, <laughs> but I saw a picture on Reddit not too long ago when they've got this design, but on a brown strap. And I, why they chose black, I have no idea. The brown strap made this a, 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 lot lo more. a lovely yeah. belt, yeah, but this, I agree with you, just about bearable. Don't think yeah. it's been worthy, but just about bearable. Pennies, who wants them? Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. I don't know if that, I don't know if this, oh. I don't know, did it have the snake skin inside like that? I think it did. But I'll just lift this off Google. Oh. What a wonderful thing. Oh. <laughs> Everything oh. about it, the f uh, even the font, which some people might hate, I guess it just fits for the thing time. Is, I think it's still only lovely, lovely, lovely. Do you think it's in the best? Mm. In fact, no, it's not, is it? No. It's not in the best. It's not even not even beaten Ahmed, is it? No. I think it's like... No, it's not beaten Warrior either, is it? The yellow... Is it? Yeah, yeah, I think it's Part of there. It's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely, lovely, It's Stone lovely. Cold Steve Austin. 101. <laughs> Aye. Anything to say about it? 
I, it was just sort of the, the thing at the time, wasn't it? Austin got his own belt, and then you had The Rock got a one that was never used for TV, mm-hmm. um, which is out there in the ether somewhere. There's uh, just customize the title, the most over guy in history, the biggest draw in wrestling history, the easiest marketing opportunity in the world. Like kids buying this stuff up. I like, had the toy they had version of that when I was printed on it, didn't yeah. they? Stuff. I had that the toy the foam toy version back in like 1999. I did. Yeah. Oh, what a time to be alive. Oh. Was it 2000? Who knows? Who knows? Some collector will put me right. So next up we have Jerry Lynn's Woof. Light Heavyweight Championship, which I do not think is as good no. as the red version no. Taka debuted with. So where's That's, Taka uh, on there? Taka's in lovely, lovely, lovely. This can this only go to all right or lower. I think, oh no! Oh, he's done the thing. Oh, no, there we go. Right, so the yellow and blue, lovely. Oh, it's like banana. Yeah. It's like it's banana, banana man. Banana in pyjamas. Yeah. Running down the stairs. Um, but again, there's big patches on the main plate that are not detailed, which I don't like personally. Yeah. Um, what else is there? The black strap is a drawback compared to the red. Yeah, I mean the WWF logos have clearly been edited out here. Yeah, um, but it, it's, it's it's still a it's handsome just, belt. It's, it's handsome. It's just really plain. Yeah, yeah. Much like the light heavy. It's like they gave up on colour in the the text as well. Cause some of it's just engraved. Yeah, yeah. So I, so I think just no, it's all right. It's definitely it's all right. right. Isn't it? Probably yeah. right. not as good as Tackers. Ah, oh. ah, oh. ah. Oh. What a, belt. what a belt. So yeah, what we have a belt. The, the first... What well, a belt. It's the ECW world title, but it's the first world title they used in WWE CW. Yes. Before it was replaced by a monstrosity that we'll get onto a bit later. The WCPW Championship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying about this? Um, it's just classic, isn't it? Look at it. It screams ECW. It does. Like, you look at that belt, there is no doubt who that belongs to. Mm-hmm. It's ECW. Like, it, it's just... It looks like a manhole cover covered in blood with loads of stab wounds in it. More belts need wire. red on them, don't they? They do. They red really do. Red is amazing on gold. Yeah. Oof. There's like a shattered globe behind it covered in barbed wire. Oh. But I think it's at least lovely, lovely, lovely. Are those pistols? No. Where? Why are you looking <laughs> sort here? Sort of like... <laughs> on the sides, it looks a bit pistol-y. What, the, it's the, not... far, the far side yeah. plates? They're like sticks No, on. not the side plates, like the uh, like the far side of the front oh, plates. Oh, yes. Look like angled pistols, but they they're do. clearly not. Are they, are they meant to be men grappling? I think so. Who knows? I'm going delirious. Yeah. Uh, I think at least lovely, lovely, lovely. I think top. Top of lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's look at, yeah, I think compared to what's in the best team. Yeah. I know some people will be going mental because we've got Daniel Bryan in there. Yeah. But, you know, each to their own, isn't it? So here we have the current day WWE Championship. Uh, I don't so much mind it. I like it, me. For what it, yep. you know, under the circumstances where we've got to have it. Uh, the black and the silver. Sorry, and the, should we crack the joke? We only get to see it like twice a year anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. In fact, no, he's been on. As we're sat here on the 5th of February, I think he's been on every single Raw this year. Yeah. Um, so that's good for him. Uh, but the black. With the silver and the deep red on it, I really do like it. Yeah. I really do it's like really it. It's really nice. Yeah, I think it's a lot. Where have we got the universal? That's in all right. Where have we got the uni- uh, the other one? That's in all right as well. I think it's going to be lovely, lovely, lovely. I think it's better, but, than, better than those bottom. two. Of lovely, lovely, lovely. I Maybe think, mid. I think it's nice. Is it nice? It's nicer than Tackers. So we put it like... Ah, let's just put them in there. It'd be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Whoa! Six and a half grand that'll I set you back. I hate this Really? I do not like it. It's something that Rick Martel would have done back in the day. Something really vain. I'm going to put my face on my championship belt. I was really hoping that it was going to be something a little bit more than just his face on the belt. It but looks, it's cool. It looks like a high school art project. <laughs> it does, but... I'm not a fan. I know it looks. It sort of looks all right when he's got it round his neck and yeah. he's doing his entrance. It looks fine there. But we're here judging the belts as the belts as they are. I do not like it. I don't like the cow leg veins you got going on down the side there. Yeah. I do, oh, I, it just look, didn't look like... It, oh, it, I know it's the fiend and he's different and whatnot, but it doesn't yeah. do anything for me. Yeah. It's a championship title. Nah, not having it. You? See, I, I appreciate that it works with his character to a degree. Yeah. Like, but, and it's like a psych-out tactic, I get it. But, like, 
Yeah, and what's going to happen when he drops it? Like, is the person going to lift that? Are they going to do a quick switch for the other belt? They'll probably vanish into that vortex under the ring that nobody else can get to, even though it's under a ring. And then they might re wheel well, out no, the Seth Rollins room. escaped from it, remember? The first time he dragged anybody down there was Seth Rollins. But why did and Daniel... Seth Rollins was like, oh no! And then he <laughs> crawled out of it and just went to the back. But what, what Daniel Bryan couldn't get in. That's went why... to an alternate dimension, yeah. No, but Seth Rollins can come and go as he pleases because oh. he's cool! <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. What are you saying? Because I, it's it's at least, I think, just about bearable. I think top are just about bearable. I'm not a fan of it at all. I know some people out yeah. there will love it, but I'm just... Well, you've got to if you've dropped seven grand on it. It's still, oh, God. So here we have, oh, oh. the Intercontinental oh, Championship from the 90s. Did you? Yeah. With a lovely turquoise strap. Yeah, it's like oh. a beautiful baby blue. Where where to put in the turquoise? It's in the top there with Warrior. Yeah, oh, I think it's in the top. Mate. I think it's look at it. That it's it, beautiful. The nineties. It's hot. I when was the last time you saw a hot belt? I missed the nineties, me. Yeah, me everyone too. was having a good time, weren't they? In the nineties, in the best. <laughs> the world's your safe for that. Oh, oh. oh. the oh. second best design they have in WWE But it's got today. a massive slab of silver on it, Ross. What are you on about? I know, that's the only drawback. But it's predominantly gold, isn't it? Yeah. The silver's just to be different, I guess. But it's the strap, the shape of the strap, the lines on the strap, the colour of the strap. Originally, when they, they released those pictures, it looked brown. I hate it. But it's not, it's deep red. It's I hated lovely. it when I first saw it. Oh, it's lovely. I thought it was just like a, a really wanky throwback. And it sort of grew on me in time, but it was just like... I remember looking at it going like, oh, what have they done? What have they done? And I know f for the majority of this video, we've been talking about the intricacy of the main plate. Yeah. But the simplicity of this one works, and I love it. Yeah. It works like an old school oh. belt, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's sort of supposed to look like it's from back in the day. Best here. Yeah. I, I think, think it's best, best here. Well. I think it's delightful. But it's, it's still only the second best looking belt they have in WWE today. And the best one we haven't talked about yet. Right. Okay. Woo! Woo! Boom! Who's on that nameplate? Boom! M M no. M I've just lifted this up. M no. Here we have the WWE CW Championship, the big silver thing. Monstrosity. I appreciate its size. That's what I've got to say about it. I've never looked at it long enough to realise that there was a bird with fiery wings on it. <laughs> it's like that ship. Oh, you know, no. Like Seth Rollins' tights from the 2018 no. Royal Rumble, I think oh, it was. Oh, that's just bad. That's rad, that, man. That's bad, not Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Oh. Let's listen to some bowling for soup. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I think this has been... It's been. I it's been it's all been. day. And it's silver, and that's what it right represents. For a everything it represents, yeah. it's been worthy. Top of the bin. Now, here we have, Sam. Yeah. The titles I was talking about earlier that people sleep on, and the reason that the NXT men's and the current women's tag team titles can't go in the top tier because these ones here are nicer. I disagree. Oh! They're very nice. Oh, they're lovely. But they're too intricate. They're too intricate? Yeah, they look like doilies. What are doilies? Like golden doilies. Golden doilies? Like, like doilies, you know, like the, the sort of like weird fabric things that you'd put a vase on in like an old person's house. Oh, no. Yeah, they look like doilies. No, they don't. They do. Yeah, 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 golden yeah, yeah, doilies. Yeah, yeah, I can't have you saying I think like, like the, the thing with them is they, the, the main title was really intricate. So the tag titles had to be. But this is like... And what's more... This is are, too far. These are different... In this day and age, I know it's not really a WWE title because yeah. it's the UK brand and they're not real superstars. That's what yeah. we've been told on Raw and SmackDown before Survivor Series. But I think these are lovely, mate. The blue is popping. The red gem is around the side. The intricacy, I can't even work out what it actually is in this light with it's this picture. It's just all floral, I think. Oh, but it's like... I think it's lovely, mate. Yeah. I, I, th think it's, I think it's better than the current NXT men's and better than the women's. Personally, are you saying, are you, what would you, out of the three, what are you saying? I'd say NXT US. Is better? Yeah. I don't know what it is, it just seems too overdone. It feels like there's just a massive disconnect here with the rest of the brand and the UK. The UK is like trying really hard to stand out by That's why buying like so shiny much. things. That's so why I like them so much. Stand out. Because they're different. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're really, really cool. They are really, like, it's undeniable how, like, nice they are. I just, for me, I think there's a bit too much going on. Whenever I look at them, I'm sort of like, where? Because <laughs> it's like my eyes can't focus because there's so much happening. I would like to see them in a better light, but oh, yeah. I can't. I can't speak highly of them enough. I think 
It, it's got to be lovely, lovely, lovely. I think, yeah, it's got to go on lovely, lovely. I thought you were going to try and put them in best. Oh, no, it's not best. Say, no, I think they go on lovely, lovely, I'm just, lovely. In, in comparison to the other tag team titles we have in the company today. Go behind Ahmed. Ah, I think I'll, I'll settle for that. So now we have the brand new Cruiserweight Championship, initially held by Angel Garza, but lost on the day he got it. What a shame to Jordan Devlin. A massive improvement. I do I'm like... so annoyed they didn't make it gold. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is it... Is the side plates look like a bit of a side gold. plates might be a little bit gold, but gold it, it's I don't know. It's it's much better. It's much much better than on purple. Mm -hmm. But it's where do we put the purple one? Where is he? Where is purple? Where He's in the he? best. He's not. <laughs> where is he? <laughs> looking for Kalista. There he is. Just right. about bearable. There you go. I think I, I think this is near the top of all right me because again. The purple is a drawback for me. I don't think that works, but I guess yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a callback to its, its throwing back to the yeah. Yeah. Uh, the NXT logo looks looks a lot nicer in there compared yeah. to the Dory logo does. I don't know what uh, I, I don't like that they kept the, the same structure with the strap. I thought yeah. that was one of the massive drawbacks we, we spoke about earlier. I think if you just made it gold, it wouldn't matter. It, it, it would be a lot better, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I think it's in all right for me, mm. but it's still a massive, massive improvement. Why are you saying? I think it goes in all right. Fair enough. Put it ahead of Jerry Lynn. So here we have the WCW oh, Cruiserweight title that was brought over during the invasion flashback. angle. Uh, SummerSlam there with Sean Veltman, yep. as you've been known in Germany, but I don't know why I said that. Uh, six. Because <laughs> one plus two, one plus two plus three equals six. That's six. Right. With a Y. Six. XX. Six. <laughs> what are you saying about that? I can't make my mind up, me. I can it like WCW's titles had a very distinct look, didn't they? They're just it's just a thing, isn't it? Yeah. There's no real there's nothing that It's just there to look shiny. Yeah, it's there's not nothing a, really on it. It's just a globe and there's some shiny. I hate the side plates. What the big WCW look is disgusting, that. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. I don't like the jagged bits at the top and bottom of the main plate. I bet you they killed if you accidentally oh, went forward yeah. too much. You'd be <laughs> kicking all out if you caught yourself in the head of one of them. I'm I'm just not a fan. As much as it picked, because I'm a, I was a WCW kid up until about 2004. Yeah, somewhere. Like yeah. So it pains me to say, but it, as a as a title belt, as we're sitting here looking at these things in a vacuum, I don't like the design of the Cruiserweight title. I love that you just said you were a WCW kid till 2004, which means that you were sat there stubbornly refusing to watch WWF. Well, I didn't have Sky. <laughs> I didn't have Sky. I had on digital until uh, 2004. Right. So all I got was like you know WCW Worldwide and Friday Night. Did you say on digital? On digital. On digital. What a throwback. Yeah, Jesus. I had on that existed. Which then went to ITV Digital, and then Ooh. ITV Digital bid for the Premier League, and then it all went bust. Right. <laughs> but I, I, I only got uh, smacked down on a Sunday, on a Saturday morning. I remember yeah. until about 2004 on Sky One, which was on on digital. But I, I'm it just about bearable is screaming out to me. Maybe yeah. bottom of all right, something like that. I think just about bearable, somewhere in the mid card. So now we have the NXT UK Women's Championship. Yeah, oh, I thought were... you were going to do the. Sorry, the camera cut just there, and <laughs> Sam said something the first time. So, oh, sorry, uh, and by that we mean both <laughs> the women's and the men's championship. Because to which I similar. say, no, no, there's a big difference. Is it a white strap? It's a, <laughs> this is a lovely title. It is beautiful. I like the red and the black that contrasts. I like the the design with the the regal thingy in yep. the middle. What do we even know? What the sigil called? or like a, oh, a sigil? A, no, it's like a it's like a house banner in it, like yeah. a shield. I just really like it. I think it's comfortably better than the Raw and SmackDown Crest, women's titles. That's it, Crest. Crest. Yeah, like family yeah. Crest. Yeah. Um, but I think, where have we put the Raw and SmackDown women's titles? I think it's better than them. There uh, they are, Total of All Right. I yeah. think Total of All Right is a perfectly good place. Is it lovely, lovely, lovely? That's the question. I do like the black and how it makes the Crest stand out a bit more. Yeah. But at the same time, it's just a reskin of... of that's right, yeah. That's yeah. the drawback, in it? That's the times we live in. Yeah, when you've got the tag belts are so different and these two are just... That is a big the yeah. same. But I do think in comparison with the, 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 the think, American women's titles. Top of all right. I think it's that's a fine placement. And here we have Sam and everybody watching and listening. The right. best title WWE make today. The NXT UK Championship. That's the WWE UK Championship. Well, they haven't changed. Well, on that picture there they haven't changed it. But officially speaking right now, it's the NXT UK 
Chapman. So it's a different title. So this is a different lineage. Oh. So this needs to get in the bin. Stop being pedantic. It's old and crap. No, um, it's lovely. I, it's it's a very very nice belt, especially under the nice. circumstances. I know the NXT UK tag titles have proven that doesn't really exist in some yeah. cases, but with it having to be the same shape and same basic design. They did. That's the best they could do. I couldn't think of any way to improve that under the circumstances. No, it just it says United Kingdom on it. It, it. Like you look at it, you see United Kingdom. It's very ornate. It's very, you know. There's a lion. There's a crest. There's you, you know. It's just English. Isn't it's it? lovely. Isn't it? I don't think it's top tier, but I think it's the best one they do today. Just put it in lovely, lovely, lovely. Though. Even though we've got Keith Lee in the top tier, which means I've just completely proven myself wrong. Shh, 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 shh. But in a, in a vacuum, should we put it bottom of the best? Bottom. I think. I, yeah. yeah. Right, I think that's fine. I'm fine with that, Sam. Here we have the 24/7 title, and I get we all I understand. We all understand that you know it's a joke belt and whatever and this that and the other. But they could have made it nicer. There is no effort gone into it. It's supposed to be a thing. You want they've just they've taken a hubcap off a car. Well, and it's put supposed it on to a, look like a watch, I guess. Cause yeah, it's like 24 7. Yeah. And it's got all like, the, the markings are out equally. The thing that annoys me the most about this belt is the side plates. Yeah, why are they blank? The side plates are completely blank. They have nothing on them. They don't have like a WWE logo, nothing. It's just two slabs of basic. And they can't have been thinking with the concept of the belt. Oh, we'll just give them custom side plates like we do everyone else. Because this could be changed in 25 yeah. times a day. Or unless they were supposed to just draw it on with blue, like, <laughs> like, like, like white, dry white pen. <laughs> I'm not a fan. This has been worthy for me. Yeah, I know. I know what it is. And it's, it's fun, not, but it needs. It's to get not meant to be serious. And I know they've made a horrible mess of the, the gimmick, anyways. With, yeah, with City and Albert Bin. Now this is a oh. weird one. It's the, the the obviously ex well whoever was the champion was it Shane Helms was the last cruiserweight champion. He right. brought that over during the invasion angle, and then SmackDown back in the day, I think it was debuted this one. The Cruiserweight Championship used on SmackDown in 2002, three that sort of era. Right. Chavo Guerrero Sr., all Born those swoggle. people. He was the last person to hold that, wasn't he? <laughs> wow. I don't know how... It's really bland, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And they've sort of kept the one... Well, one of the bits about the WCW Cruiserweight Championship I didn't personally like, the jagged bits on top and bottom. Yeah, it's supposed to, I guess, like, look like sun rays or like a crown, but it, it's I'm just I'm not a crap. fan of it at all. It's just crap. It's just, it is, isn't it? It's just not very good, is it? No. It's just not very good. I'm going to sneeze, Sam. Put it somewhere. Do a sneeze. Elephant, 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 Should elephant. put it in elephant. just about bearable or Elephant, in the elephant, elephant. It works. Right. Bearable or bin? Bearable. I don't think it's bin worthy, but it's bottom of bearable. Right, and we're here. It's we've... amazing how that works, isn't it? If you just say elephant, and your sneeze goes away. <laughs> so here we have the original women's tag team titles that they don't want you to know about, or something along those lines. Yes, they never referenced they them. They never existed for some Shh. reason. And I think they're quite nice. They're very nice. They are, yeah. aren't they? They're sort of like that. What they're we... sort of like the backland belt. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're really nice. Yeah. They are. Proper really ornate. Nice. Proper old school. Yeah. Red strap. Red strap. Right. Proper gold, a yep. little bit of silver in the middle there. Well, not too much, you know what I mean? Little Is that a silver highlight? Or is that just the way the I lights, don't know. The way the light's catching it. I think they're really nice. I think... Yeah. It, uh, better than Taggers? That's... Better than the Intercontinental of today? Better than the current women's ones? Mm -hmm. That's a real challenge here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Are they? I think so. There you go then, if we're both saying so. Look at them. That's what we're doing. Oh. Christ. Well, that was quite an ordeal. There we are, the end of just about. And there'll be somebody in the comments going, You missed this one. We did a lot. All right. We I tried. Said, you didn't get the WWF International Championship oh, that was defended in Japan. You didn't get the martial arts one that yeah. Anoki had. Whatever it was. So here we come to the end of this video. Let's look at the tiers. In the best tier, the top tier, we have. The Big Eagle from yes. the Attitude Era. The Winged Eagle. The Undisputed Title. Then we have... Uh, I've forgotten his name again. Uh, Superstar Billy Graham. Superstar Billy Graham yeah. in his one. <laughs> I'm dead here, Sam. I'm dying. Then we have the Turquoise Strap with Warrior on the World Title. And the White Strap. And the White Strap on the World Title. And White Strap. The White Strap in the Continental Title. The NXT Championship. Currently, the WWFE Tag Team Championships. Yeah, the ones. Yeah. Then we have the Intercontinental Championship with the red popping WF logo. Daniel Bryan's mahogany number. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship they brought back from the 90s with Cody Rhodes. The European title. The SmackDown Tag Titles. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship but with a black strap. Triple H's world title. Intercontinental Championship with a turquoise strap. 
the bloody North American title and the WWUK title. Sam, you take the next one. We alternate because so, I'm dying. So, lovely, lovely, lovely. We have the ECW Championship, the proper one, the big gold round one. Uh, we then have a gold IC belt being sported by a lovely model in Ooh. Ahmed Johnson. Uh, we have the NXT UK tag titles. We have the current NXT tag titles. We have Ultimate Warrior with a, yellow. This is a yellow strap IC belt. We have the Smoke and Skull belt. We have the original WWF women's tag titles from way back in the day. Then we have the current ones. Uh, we have the current WWE Championship with Bork Laser. We have the Hardcore title. We have Shayna Baszler's uh, current NXT Women's Championship. Just the NXT Championship. NXT Championship. <laughs> we have uh, Umaga with the IC belt from what era? Sort of like, 98 to 2011? Yeah. yeah. Then we have the current IC belt, the brand new one that's a bit weird. And then we've got Taka's Light Heavyweight Championship. So first question, any of those need moved up? Hardcore? Hardcore. Yeah. Hardcore, hardcore, rock you down to the floor. Up, 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 a scooter. Anyone moving down? Nah. So next up in all right, in the middle of the road, we have the NXT UK Women's title, the Raw and SmackDown Women's titles, the Raw Tag Team titles, then we have the new Cruiserweight title, the old Light Heavyweight Championship with the Black Strap, then we have the Big Green Monster World title, then we have the Green and Gold Intercontinental Championship, the World Tag Team Championships from the Raw days, the first brand split, the original NXT Championship, the current day Universal Championship, not the Fiend version. The blue one. The blue one. Then we have the Women's Attitude, Attitude Era to about whatever year it was when the Divas title was brought in. Yeah. That women's title. Then we have Lay Cool's version, because it's cool and Lay. <laughs> Buddy Rogers. Buddy Rogers world title. Then we have the, the world title that replaced John Cena's monstrosity. Then we have Ken Patera with an Intercontinental Championship. Wendy Richter with an old women's title. And the Universal Championship from 2016 to 2019. Anything to go down? <laughs> um, maybe Wendy Richter's. No, I think I think uh, I think they're all, they're all all right. Aren't yeah, they? they're all all right. Yeah, they're nothing like to write home about, no. are they? So next up in just about bearable, we have the Fiends Custom Six Thousand Dollar Championship. We have um, Ivan Koloff with uh, his WWWF Championship. Uh, what have we got next? US title from WCW. US title from WCW. Then we have the purple 205 Live Cruiserweight title. Uh, we have the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. That was like everywhere. Uh, oh, no, it it's like, WCW. Yeah. Shut up, Ross. Uh, we then have uh, Leilani Kai. Uh, her. Little Women's Championship. Yeah, the tiny one. Uh, we have the NXT, the original NXT Women's Championship. Uh, Don Morocco with an Intercontinental Championship. Is this the red and blue one? I think so. Yeah, yes. yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. Then we have uh, Sherry with an even, Sherry. an even smaller one. Tina Tani. <laughs> uh, and then we've got Hulk Hogan with one of his many, 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 many 80s belts. Um, the New Day with the Penny Tag Titles. And the WWF Cruiserweight Championship. Then in the bin. Well, any of these new go up or down? Uh, I think they're all just about... Yeah? Yeah. Maybe the NXT women's goes up? It's, it doesn't... It pales in comparison to the modern day. Yeah, women. it's just... It's not as good, is it? I think they're all... That, that's just about fine. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. Then in the bin, we have the Ooh. WWE CW Big Silver Thing, the 24-7 title, which, you know, it's a caveat. We know it's not meant to be taken seriously, but it's still a horrible belt. Uh, the original NXT Tag Team Championships, that weird hardcore one they had in 2002, the Spinner Belt, the Spinner Belt but with it fixed, the mid-90s Women's Championship with its pink strap and horribleness, John Cena's Spinner US title, the rated RWWE Championship, the Bloody Butterfly, and finally, the US Championship, which might be a bit unfair on that one. That'd be the only one I'd change out of there. Oh, let's move it up then, just to be nice. Just to be nice. I think it's, it's, it's tacky yeah. as piss, but it's I tacky, think but, you know. it's better than the ones in front of it. It's not as tacky as, as Tacky Michinoku. Uh, oh. Oh, it's a lovely belt. So there we have it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. No doubt about it, you disagree with everything we've just done there. 100%. Thank you for joining us in this marathon of a video. Let's remind ourselves never to do 74 entries <laughs> ever again. Going to be quite the edit. <laughs> See you next time on Tiered. I've been Gary YouTube. He's been Gary YouTube. And we'll see you soon.
Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. You can follow us on Twitter at Cultaholic. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Cultaholic. And if you enjoy what we do here at Cultaholic, you can place us on our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. Hit subscribe and join us.